Step in here. Come on. Don't take all day either. Hold on. Let me do this. Make sure my audio is right. Let me make sure. Okay, can you hear me? Let me make sure. All right, cool. I know I'm cool. All right, well, as you come in, man, make sure you hit that like button. Come in fellowshipping with one another. Now that I know my audio is cool, let me get my lighting. Hold on. Hold on. That's right. I was glad when they said unto me, Get up in here, man. Let's fellowship one time. I just want to give clarity and show some charity at the same time, man. That's all. You know, because I can see that, uh, you know, a lot of you are confused. And amen, God is not the author of confusion, uh, of confusion, and neither is the game. The game ain't the author of confusion either. So I just want to make this uh, plain. And if anyone want to challenge me, you know, or come in, you know, after I say what I'm going to say, you know, I'm going to uh, open up the call. Yeah, I'm open up them lines, man. Brown Hornet, man, appreciate the respect. Appreciate that 10, fam. Good looking. But yeah, just to give these squares some clarity, man, you know, they always uh, be doing that. Hold on, let me see there. Open up them lines, man. Hey, Pete, do you think we're going to get that next Dirty Mac and video this month. Damn, that's you like yeah, you like that, huh? Uh, it, in the game's appointed time, I'm not gonna say when, but it definitely will be a number two. I'm glad that you brought it up. That should have been, you know, bigger than it is. A lot of my videos should be bigger than it is, but you know, Sin been shadow banned for so long. You know, it is what it is. That's why I was telling Freeze, man, you got to press through that. Yeah, you can't get discouraged because your views ain't what it uh what it should be. That they not, you know, sending them notifications out and you know and all of that, man. You got uh uh You got to press through that. It's a lot of people I got better content uh then and they got more likes, more views, more shares, all of that. You can't get upset at that. Look at the things that I say within the video. Look at the, the uh, profanity that I use, you know? So I understand. But one thing about it that I know, when the people really fuck with you, you know, when they really fuck with you, even when you shadow ban, even when, you know what I mean, uh, they not sending them notifications out, your people going to share your shit. Your, the people going to hit that like button. The people going to make sure them likes is on one accord with the viewers if they really fuck with you. Coop, man, appreciate that too. Yeah. Appreciate that, fam. <clears throat> if you, uh, let me see. Hey, Robin, hey, baby. I, you know what? I can't really speak on Lavish D. I knew that him and Clyde was cool at one time. And they was like, you know, texting and talking to each other. I know Lavish D then had some experiences and shit like that, but I can't really just, you know, get a. We we see that's what I'm bringing back. We got to bring the seriousness back to the game. It ain't got too easy to be called a pimp. All the nigga got to do is make a song now, you know, a, a, a rap. And and of course, I got to be the bad guy to say these things because. You know, if somebody don't come out and say it, then all these broads, you know, going to be sitting over here, you understand me, uh, choosing and, you know, thinking that, you know, uh, let me choose up with this rapper. No. So, you know, what I mean, that's why I got to get this clarity so it won't get be no misunderstandings, you know, with this uh, with these rappers rapping about the lifestyle. What do you mean is too short on this list? Nigga, don't you see too short name? 
in the title? Don't you see his face in the thumbnail? Don't you see when it say, you know what I mean? Uh, no pimp, no pimping. Everybody that's in that, uh, that title, nigga, is not a pimp. Yeah. Let me see. I can't really speak for Drew Down. You know, Drew Down has some experiences and things like that. Plus, you know what I mean? He used to be around Crooked Mouth a lot. So, you know what I mean? I don't know. You know, I can't say. I know, the, I know he didn't have some. Uh, I know Drew Down didn't have some hoes. That's what I do know. As far as is he really the I don't know. But has he had some hoes? Yeah. See, that's the understanding. I'm just giving y'all a little time. That's the understanding that I'm about to give. Y'all think everybody that got uh, a hoe or some hoes, or excuse me, some prostitutes, you know, is this pimping. And uh, we got to get an understanding. Yeah. Let me see down on. So pimp can't do nothing else but pimp? No, that's not what I'm saying, man. Listen so you can have understanding. You know what I mean? It, it's better for you to just listen and soak up the game rather than come up with your own, uh, you know, little understanding. You know what I mean? That's how a lot of religions and bad decisions, you know what I mean, is created, man. You know what I mean? People coming up with their own little shit, you know? Baby, appreciate the, uh, that too. You know, appreciate the respect. Blessings to you. But yeah, we gotta uh we gotta stop putting everybody, you know, in the pimping. You know, on the active pimp list. No. You know, so let me see. Uh yeah, we got enough people up in there. Okay, well do me a favor, get them likes up, make the likes uh look like the viewers. But let me just come through. Uh because of my respect for free. You know, I didn't, if you pay attention, really, I didn't really say nothing negative uh, about free. Why? Because I respect, I like free. You know what I mean? Still going to listen to free music. I don't care what them niggas are talking about. All them niggas talking about free music don't hit the same because he married and shit. You know, nigga, I'm going to play uh, sugar-free music pretty much to the day that I die. Nigga, I don't care if he get uh, married, divorced, married again, divorced and married again. Nigga, this motherfucking... Uh, Music, nigga, is, is too meaningful, it's too powerful, and it's on point. It's on one accord with the game. You know, I told y'all about uh, taking shit personal and trying to, uh, you know, basically minimize the artist and his artistry and stop fucking with the art because of the personal life of the artist. You know what I mean? That ain't got nothing to do with you. Yeah. Let me see. Okay, appreciate that five, baby. Appreciate that five. Good looking. Okay, but yeah, you will notice that when I said what I said, I just told you guys, and they called, you know, I got a whole bunch of calls and shit. P, man, why you say, or did you say, we, we died laughing. You know, uh, I even looked at the comment section when I got up today, you know what I mean, laughing my ass off. Sin, sin, y'all <laughs> so green and stupid. Motherfucker said up that Griff said, Sugar Free is black. He black, P. He black. <laughs> Listen, let me say this. You should have known by just that reason that I wasn't trying to really uh go in uh on free. That's why I told that's why I told you what I told you. You know what I'm saying? Um, as far as you know, the pimping being the black man, I meant that. Yeah, yeah. Before I take it back, you know what I mean? I add more to it, right? You know, but it was certain other things that I could have said, but I stayed respectful. I didn't get on all that other, other stuff people was talking about online and all of that. Why? Because that ain't about nothing. You know what I mean? Uh, like I said, you know, uh, above all of these titles is just being a man. Yeah, and as long as you're a man, you know, especially in these times, man, you the MVP. You know what I mean? Blessings to all the UFOs, man, the men uh, in this day and age, you know. But again, as far as uh, the pimping is concerned, I told you guys that, you know, when you start off wrong, you know, most likely if you start off wrong, that's the way you're going to end. Did you hear what I told you? 
If you start off wrong, most likely that is going to be the way that you're going to end. Sin, what do you mean by that? Um, I'll give you an example. That ain't disrespectful. Uh, that ain't that ain't disrespectful. Hold on, I'll give you this. Give you an example. Hold on. Just give you an understanding right quick. Because I know the fans and people that got their heart broke. They'll be like, Pete, why you say that, man? Why <laughs> okay, hold on. I'm about to acknowledge you too, baby, but hold on. Let me do this right quick. Exploitation film thing. and uh, From that rap um, uh, came everything else. Okay. Okay. Now, you know, pimping is definitely a big theme all through your music. You know, were you actually pimping back then at 15? No. No. Okay. Well, when did that start officially? When I was 17. Okay. C can you talk about what got you into that? Well, in order for me to had a stomach to, to even do that shit first. Uh, my baby mama took my son from me. And I always told her, after you, I ain't gonna have no girlfriends and shit. I'm just gonna have hoes. And uh, that's what happened. You know, I seen that uh, you know, I put all my eggs in one basket on that one. But, you know, realized that I wasn't the one to go through that kind of shit because I, I, I won't come back. I never came back from that. I started pimping, man. Huh. So, so your, your baby mama taking your kid really just kind of hardened you against women in general? Yes. I mean, hell yeah. <laughs> I mean, fuck yeah. <laughs> you know? Okay. Uh, you, you know, okay. you know the, the, the 17 uh, part of it uh, was short because I went to YA. Um, let me just say, again, the way you start is most likely uh, the way you're going to end. So, out of his mouth, not mine, he entered into the lifestyle or, you know, professed to enter into the lifestyle because his heart was broke. His heart was broke. His baby mama broke his heart. So, because his baby mama broke his heart, he said, let me go pimp. I'm about to have hoes. So it's not really a surprise to me that you got in the lifestyle because, well, excuse me, you start uh, dealing with prostitutes, you know, because you got your heart broke. And so it's not really a surprise to me for you to get married because now so, uh, a, a, a bitch basically has mended your heart, you know, has put your heart back together. You came in the... Uh, you came in the game because your heart was broke and now you're in the marriage because, you know, this love thing didn't put it back together. You know, uh, and I'm not being funny. I'm just being real. So, you know, whenever you have individuals that because of divorce or because a bitch dumped them or because baby mama left and they enter into, you know, the game dealing with prostitutes. Is that's one of the biggest inspirations on why they're doing what they're doing, then they doing it, you know, for the, uh, well, they're not really doing it, but they professing to be doing it all for the wrong reasons. They just got a vendetta. So it's not that they genuinely, sincerely want to pimp. It's just that you're angry, you're upset. You know, you're coming from an angry place. That ain't got nothing to do with no damn pimping. You know, married to the game. No, we're not married. 
Listen, man, why do y'all keep saying that dumb ass shit? I keep telling y'all, I'm not married to a motherfucking thing. All this married to the game and all of this. The game is not married to you, first of all. You know, get that out y'all. You could be married to the bitch, but the game ain't married to you. You know, people be thinking they just be saying some pimpish or hoish or a playerish or a fly shit. Stop. I, I, I just get quiet when y'all talk like that. You would never hear sinful to people talking about, yeah, man, I'm married to this game. I'm not even married to the game. I'm not married to none, nothing. Niggas looking for a fly ass way to say that they married. Y'all want to be married so bad. You want to be a husband so bad. See, that's, that's the real you trying to come out. And it's nothing wrong with that. Let the real you come out right now. If you professing to be a pimp right now, you know in your heart that you really want to be a husband. You really want to be a boo thing. You really want to be, you know what I mean, uh, a guy that got two and three careers and, you know, you being a provider for, for your boo and shit. Like, come on, man. Leave this shit alone and get out the way and let the real you come out. Come out. You know you want to get married. You want to be in love, and it's okay. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You know, who told you that it was cool to even be a pimp? Who told you it was cool to even be in a life of criminality and taking chances to put yourself in a correctional facility for an eternity? Who told you that that was cool? Ain't nothing wrong with being a husband, man. Marry that woman. Make a good wife out of her. Uh, uh, go ahead and get you... Uh, some children, man, and create tribes with her. You know, do your thing. Get married, man. We need more of you guys, man, you know what I mean, to get married and get in love. But see, the reason why I had to come with this game, because I don't want you to think that the decisions of these rappers, do you hear me? I didn't want to, you know, the decisions, you know, of these rappers to make you start looking at the pimping different. I don't want you to categorize the pimping and put the pimping in a category with, you know, oh my God, wow. That's just like, a, I'm, not, I'm just giving you an example. Let's just say if Filthy Rich decide to get married and he marry a square, I don't want to hear no real ho, uh, no hoes and no bitches in the game talking about, Oh my God, all of these pimps, they just stay getting married. You know, the squares. And, that nigga ain't no goddamn pimp, bitch. He's a hustler. Filthy got some game about himself. I'm proud of him. He doing this thing. He being a blessing to his people, you know. Uh, as far as being a real nigga from the outside, he look like he that. But as far as this pimping go, though, he's not that. You know what I mean? No. So, you know, stop just because somebody made some songs that you loved. And then I, I remember one time a nigga got in the comment section. He's like, yeah, man, you know, he was down with us. Woo, 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 woo. Nigga, did you not hear me yesterday? Nigga, Snitch has been down on the blade. What the fuck? What is that really saying? Snooky, I, 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 one of the coldest examples. Snooky didn't been on blades cross country. Snooky won a uh, pimp of the year at a player's ball. Snooky was on the front cover of American Pimp. So that's like if a motherfucker sit up there and say, yeah, P, uh, I hear what you're saying. Yeah, he told, yeah, I know he snitched. I know he uh, was working with the uh, people. I know he was an informant, but yeah, he was down with us. Come on, man. What are you really saying? See, to a square, that's convincing. But to somebody that really been in the lifestyle, that has seen, you know what I mean, even motherfuckers on the concrete, you know, profess this and really wasn't this, you know, that, don't, that ain't going to move me. I don't care if a motherfucker getting a multitude from a multitude. That don't mean nothing. You know what I mean? These bitches done paid motherfucking tricks. Niggas, you understand me, that was Bloods and Crips, niggas with big dicks, you know what I mean, GDs, BDs, and niggas that was selling DVDs and CDs. Nigga, that don't mean the goddamn thing. You know what I mean? So just keeping that thing all the way 100, stop making everybody this pimping. 
I like track number nine. Oh, man, that's my favorite song. Man, this nigga a pimp for real. No. Certain people going to be more detailed in songs because they actually having experiences with prostitutes. So, of course, with them having experiences, you know, charging bitches and, you know, uh, breaking on hoes and things like that, they can speak again from an experience standpoint versus just from somebody speaking from their gift and telling myths over instrumentals, you know? But again, just because you break on a hoe or charge a bitch, that don't just qualify you as a pimp. It's more than just, you know, receiving, you know, money from a bitch and living off the earnings of prostitution. Tricks done done that, believe it or not. Boyfriends done done that, believe it or not. You know, it's niggas right now. They ain't got an ounce of pimping in them right now, but they playing that good boyfriend role and they getting a the bank role. You know what I mean? Out of these little broads, you know what I mean? That, you know, profess to be the hoeing. So again, you know, uh, let me just piggyback on that before I go other places. You know, a guy telling you that the reason why he got in the game is because his baby mama broke his heart. His baby mama sit up there, you know what I mean, and hurt him. So he got in and said, you know what? I ain't have nothing but hoes because that it, he letting you know right there. He's not a pimp. He's letting you know right then and there that he took knowledge from his mama, knowledge from different uh, uh, representation of the game, observing different pimps of the game, and taking that knowledge and being able to utilize it, you know what I mean, to knock different broads and, you know, things of that nature. You know? And let me just, let me just really come through. I'm not going, this is not to uh, put, you know, I'm not going to speak too much on that. But let me just say this. When you're doing drugs, all right, when you own drugs, one of the one of the uh, things that, you know, was like, well, what, you know, what's the difference from a pimp and from him? Always be able to look at being able to do what the average man, what any other man outside of the lifestyle wouldn't do, couldn't do. Anybody can sit up there and break on a bitch. Yeah. So we can't just, you know, you can't just automatically say that, you know what I mean? Man, yeah, this guy, man, whoo, he got to be a pimp. Look, that bitch just gave him some money. It's some niggas that, you know what I mean, got some cold mouthpieces. And everybody that got cold mouthpieces is not a pimp. Do you hear what I'm saying? Niggas be like, yeah, man, you know what I mean? I'm a master of communication. Everybody that has mastered communication is not doing participation in the lifestyle of pimping and hoeing. Everybody that has mastered communication are not pimps or max. It's some tricks, you know what I mean, that communicate very well. Speak very eloquently. Went to the best of schools. You know, and you got individuals, man, that's not in the lifestyle, but they're able to talk to individuals of all walks of life. Does that make him a pimp because, you know, he can communicate well? Certainly you have a better, profound, more potent, more uh, meaningful definition than that. Even when y'all be saying pimp mean put it in my pocket. Hey, man, uh, a bitch can put it in anybody's pocket. These bitches didn't pay bitches before. So that lets you know right off, right off top. You can't just uh, label somebody a pimp just because a bitch giving some motherfuckers some money. Bitches pay bitches. You got bitches right now that are selling pussy, putting their life on the line to, to pay a bitch, to pay another woman, to pay another... Uh, you understand me, once a month bleed motherfucker. She's sitting over there putting her life on the line for a bitch. She emotional. That person's emotional. They all just, everybody just emotional. So, you know, is the bitch now the pimping? You know what I mean? Because another bitch uh, then sold some pussy and gave her a trap. 
Certainly you got more sense than that. Certainly you got more sense than that. I want to question you. I want you to think. There have been individuals, man, to have some nice houses, some nice jewelry, some nice clothes. And they have studied the hand movements. They studied the hand gestures of pimps. You got YouTubers that have watched uh, different videos, different documentaries about the lifestyle. You got Dr. B.O.A. who, once he got upset, started speaking down on the pimping. But trying to make money, which he, he is, making money using the pimp name, talking about pimp principles. He going to tell you that the alpha male is above every male, but yet and still, he going he gonna to tell you that the alpha male is above the pimping, but it don't say alpha principles. It say pimp principles. So if the alpha male is greater than the pimp, then why in the hell is the alpha male learning from the pimp principles instead of pimps learning from the principles of an alpha male? Everybody is using this game to try to benefit. That nigga ain't done nothing. And it ain't just him. It's other individuals who have just watched nothing but pimp tutorials, pimp videos, Saint the Center, a lot of these guys, fraudulent individuals. Nigga went, to, nigga went to Berkeley, and ain't nothing wrong with that. But with all of the education that he has, he want to sit up there and put himself in the same sentence, the same conversation with, a guy, with, with the pimps. That lets you know that, you know, how cold this pimping is. <laughs> that lets you know how cold this pimping is, man. Niggas is motherfucking... A uh, 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 fourth and fifth grade school teachers and shit like that and want to put themselves in the same conversation with criminals. That just let you that just let you know, but even with all of the education that after achieving this and achieving that, they still didn't think it was nothing. You know, when the pimp when the pimp get involved. Now they might talk that shit, oh man, fuck a pimp. I don't want to be no like no pimp. Woo 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 woo. But how are they able to attract the audiences that they're attracting? Why? Because they're listening to the conversations of pimps and they're converting it and perverting the information. You know what I mean? And they're trying to act as if this is their intellectual property when in fact, all they do is sit up there and memorize the words that they was mesmerized, you know what I mean, by that came out of a pimp's mouth. So again, and do me a favor, get my likes up to 400. Y'all tripping, man. We had over 600 people, but we only got 332 likes. Man, y'all tripping. You know, what the hell that got to do? Let me look at the comments, man. What the hell they got to do with everything? Let me look at the, hold on. No, Mac Dre was not no pimping, man. Mac Dre was a hustler. Has Mac Dre probably had some experiences, you know, breaking on bronze? Yes, but... You know what I mean? Uh, you can ask, you know, people that actually knew him. No, he was not a pimp. Pimp C was a family man. Um, Mac Dre was just a cold hustler, a great rapper. You know, too short, he never was the pimping. He didn't have some experiences with some prostitutes, but he never was the pimping. You know what I mean? Everybody that's in that title, man, they not these guys are not pimps. Stop it. Disrespecting this P. Uh, hold on, hold on. Trying someone, especially the age of the internet. So break it down. Hold on. The P title itself come along with it. Indictment and just excitement. Everybody want to be seen. Some bad bitch that's all. Hold on, let me make sure I ain't. Okay, uh, I didn't acknowledge Mia, baby. Appreciate that, Tim, when you came through. When you came through, you know. Blessings to you. Okay, I ain't really missed nothing. Cash Lord, mess. Man, if you don't not, that just let me know, man. You guys are off. Jay Diggs is a cold Mac, man. You know what I mean? He get his Mac on. 
you know, he get his, he be playing. He got, you know, he's a co he's a player, you know, got some, some player type ways. You know, but stop putting these guys in the pimp category. These are not pimps. These are co hustlers. These are gifted black men who are using their gifts, you know what I mean? Um, you know, to basically get on the instrumentals and say things, you know what I mean, that'll compel you to stream their music. But these are not pimps. So when these men make decisions, this does not look bad on the pimping. Why? Because these men are not the pimping. That's why I had to come out and say the things that I'm saying right now. As far as Sauce, Sauce is a, a, a good man, man. A blessing to his family, putting his friends on. You know what I mean? Cold with the rapping, man. You know what I mean? The guy Rich, we done seen where he done came from. I remember when Sauce first came out. And now <clears throat> he's doing his thing, man. But he not the pimping either. No, he not the pimping. You know what I mean? But he got some good game, man. You know what I mean? Look at the areas that these guys be from. You don't think you're going to get some good game being in them type of areas, man? You know, being in that H-Town, being around, you know what I mean, different, you know, pimps and seeing how they, especially if you've been down on the blade with pimps. Now, has Sauce had experiences, you know, with prostitutes and things like that? Hell yeah. You know what I mean? But he's still not the pimping. You know, he more of a, uh, I've been telling you that he's more of some people would classify as a Mac or, you know, might put him in the player lane. But no, he's not the pimping, man. Stop it. He's definitely not the pimping. Interesting. You consider Mac Dre a pimping? Who, who said that Mac Dre is the pimping? Who said that, who said that Mac Dre is the pimping? Like, are you, are you guys listening? You have to be replying to somebody in the comment section. I never said that Mac Dre was the pimpin'. I said that he wasn't the pimpin'. Everybody in that title is, is not the pimpin'. Can you read? Uh, no, you, you, you're you not the pimpin' either. Okay. Uh, no, Mac Dre was not pimpin' on hoes, man. Stop it. I know this is hurting a lot of y'all hard, you know, because you from different areas and, you, you know, you like certain music and... You know, you want to get hyphy and all of that, you know, but no, that's that's not that's not the pimp. No, you know, pimp put it like this. One of the most simplest definitions that I gave out of innumerable definitions concerning pimps. Pimps only pimp. Max subject subjective. The player is subjective. The pimp is not. Pimps only pimp. Pimps be pimping. You won't catch pimps selling drugs. You won't catch pimps uh, sitting over there, you know, trying to be prostitutes. Pimps ain't catch, uh, on, ain't on OnlyFans. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, fucking they hoes and all of that. No, pimps only pimp, man. You know, pimps ain't involved in, you know, all these different uh, curriculum activities and shit, mixing it to fix it. You know, with the drugs and, you know, trying to get money from the wound and the spoon, you know, to put something together. No. Pimps only pimp, man. But respect to all of the Max. Respect to all of the players. This is not the down talk Max and players. If anything, I respect Max and players. You know, but I just want to give the distinction between them. Let me see. No, man. First of all, let me make this let me make this very because uh, I could see that, you know, I'm hurting you guys hard. Um, but let's just say and even in the future, always remember, it's just like, you know, uh, when Dre said this game is bigger than Pippin and Horn. Um, when I'm no longer presiding over women, you know, in the lifestyle, I will always be living off the game. I will always live off the game, whether it be books, whether it be me speaking or, uh, or whatever. I'm always going to live off the game. I'm going to take this game with me wherever I go. It's in me. 
I can't retire. When niggas say I'm retired, how you going to retire from being yourself? I can't retire from being me. All I can do is get into some more of it. So when you see me in the future coming out with that book or doing that film or, you know, speaking at this school or speaking at this church or, you know, ministering the word or whatever I'm doing, man, you know, I'm always taking the game with me. I'm going to live out this game for the rest of my life. I'm going to do some things in the game that my family, my children's children is going to benefit from me, from me basically being in the game, from the game for me. Do you not hear what I'm saying? Man, I already spoke on Drew Down. Why do you keep asking me about Drew Down? Drew Down didn't have some, uh, some hoes before, but I can't say that he is or isn't. I ain't never pimp uh, side by side with that man. So to my knowledge, he ain't. You know what I mean? He just didn't have some experiences. He didn't been around some Max and, and things like that. You know what I mean? And, 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 you know, doing his thing. But, you know, I can't just put it on him like that. Let me see. Oh, my God, man. You got all of the... Hey, listen. If you want to continue to keep the poster of your favorite rapper above your bed, I'm not trying to take Filthy Rich from above your bed. I know you got Filthy Rich above your bed. I know that when you take a bitch to bed to fuck, you know, she got to look at Filthy Rich, uh, Filthy Rich first. I know that. I'm not, I'm not angry at you for having Filthy Rich. If you want to keep Filthy Rich above your bed, then you keep Filthy Rich above your bed, nigga. You know what I mean? But just because a nigga sending them and breaking them, that don't mean that he's some pimping, goofball. Listen to the messenger of the game when I'm speaking to you so you can be blessed. That's the problem with you square-ass niggas. You know what I mean? You're trying to speak about something that you don't know about. Nigga, we got plenty of people, nigga, in, in jails, nigga, with pandering cases and shit. You understand me? That ain't, you know? Can't speak on Tommy Wright. Nigga, I don't even know no Tommy Wright. Why y'all keep bringing up Tommy Wright? I don't know no damn Tommy Wright, man. Unheard of. Stop bringing unheard of people, man. Name don't even register. Blessings to dude. I see him uh, in the comment section. You know, every now and then. But I don't listen to his music. I don't know him like that. And like I said, I don't, I've been told you that I, I don't know if that's the uh, same uh, D-Mac. But, you know, D-Mac, I don't even know why you got your lame ass in my, comment se in my comment section, if that's who I think it is. Yeah, yeah, I told you. Ever since you got on Keisha platform lying, talking about some... You knock me for a bitch and all of that. Like, nigga, sitting over there lying. Niggas be trying to have history with a pimp and shit. Freestyle lying. You know what I mean? You just like the... If that's the D-Mac I think of, nigga, you just like these hoes. Nigga, you just want to sit up there and use the pimp's name to get some fame and shit. Nigga, you ain't never knocked me for no bitch. If you did, nigga, it wouldn't have been no problem for me to say that you knocked me for a bitch, nigga. You know? Let me see. Probably high as hell. You know, he be getting high and shit. Uh, so if you fucking with or fucking with the paper game, that makes you less of a P, right? If you fucking with the paper game, I wouldn't say it take away from your, it take the P away because I don't know your circumstance uh, at that time. See, it's a difference from if you hold us and dole us and somebody basically said, P, let me do you a favor, or you learned some game to do you a favor, and you ended up knocking a bribe uh, within that month or something that you was using the paper game, but to actually take the paper game and make it a hustle, like, ooh, I'm about to start selling rooms, I'm about to start selling plane tickets, I'm about to start selling car rentals, I'm about to start sitting over there, you know what I mean, selling, uh, I ain't gonna say too much, but, uh, you know, niggas gonna be going into Gucci and Louis store, you know what I mean, off the info, you know, stuff like that, you know what I mean, that's when they get very unpimpish, you done took the pressure off the bitch, you know what I'm saying, and it's, you really a rest haven, because, you know, the pressure ain't on that hoe, 
You got the bitch staying in a five star, you know what I mean, hotel, and the bitch giving you three, four hundred dollars or five hundred dollars, you know, by the grace of God every day, man. That bitch, you know, she ain't even coming in like that the way she should to be sitting over there in no five star room, you know, getting uh, you know, uh, this one nigga, and yeah, some of y'all know I'm talking, you know, getting uh room service and all of that goddamn shit. You in Hawaii with the uh, with the bitches and all and each of them is coming in with threes and foes and all of that shit. Three bitches coming in all together for one bitch trap and you got bitches staying in five star rooms and shit, eating room service and shit. That ain't the goddamn pimping. You taking care of them bitches more than they taking care of you. How the fuck? How the fuck is this pimping? So that's why I say, man, that that paper game. You know, certain individuals, they was like, I'm going to just use it, you know, to get on my feet. I'm going to just use it, you know, to stack some money up and woo, 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 woo. And they end up using that shit and then they try to make it into the hustle. And then these niggas start, you know, instantly start getting known as uh, pretty much a hustler. Let me see. Let me see. Um... As someone that been in the trenches, I can certify that Fifty was in the trenches and we're sugar free in the trenches. My OG partner, not sugar free. So, hey man, uh, it's it's some game bangers that's been knocked before. I mean, you know what? I would be wasting my time and casting pearls before swine trying to actually explain certain things, even in the language of simplicity. Because a lot of you still wouldn't understand or do, wouldn't want to understand because you would want to maintain, you know, your favorite rap star. I understand. But, uh, well, I know who you, to, who, I, I told you that's not me. Okay, if it's not you, then my bad, man. But see, by you already using blood, that make me think that it's you. You just don't want me to roast you. But I do think it is your corny ass. But just, uh, if it ain't, then my bad. But I really do think it is you. You know, and I've been told you that you are goofy. Let me see. I'm going to be honest, saying Mac Dre was not a whole hustler. He was versatile with his music and watched his music as you should to keep his people off. Mac Dre was full of flesh, P, and no people know him personally. Man, if you don't knock it off, man, I know individuals that knew him personally, too. And you know what I mean? He was not the pimping. Stop it. You know what I mean? Stop it. You know what I mean? You can sit up there and go, uh, you know, if you ever get a chance to chop it up, you know what I mean, with different people like KP Hello and, you know, different individuals, man, that was around Dre. You know, Dre was a hustler, man. You know, Dre was about his business. Dre was about his money. But as far as pimping is concerned, you know, for pimp I live and for pimp I die, you know what I mean? Uh, no. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. You know, again, I understand, you know, niggas be from different places. That's just like when people, when my Chicago niggas be trying to bring up Do or Die and Twister. I just instantly just started laughing. You know what I mean? Yeah, man, you know what I mean? Uh, when Twister and Do or Die was pimping, I instantly just started laughing. I instantly just started laughing. Warriors Dre is officially the ism and artist rapper doing music and Mary. Speak on it. What you mean, speak on it? Nigga, I've been spoke on it. Um, you know, this is somebody that's in their uh, 50s that hasn't been in the game for over 20 goddamn years. What are you talking about? Like, how, how, like, how slow can you be? If an individual is not active in the lifestyle, then they have the liberty, you know, to do th certain things that an active pimp does not have. How simple is that to understand? Dre ain't sit up there and been in the lifestyle in over 20 goddamn motherfucking years. Yeah, sure, he got a lot of profound, meaningful things to say, you know what I mean, because he was in the game. He is the game. He's the son of the game. But at the same particular time, he has not been active in the lifestyle for over 20-something years. What would be wrong with him making music about the life that he used to live? What would be wrong with that? 
Now, as far as him uh, being married, Pimp's been getting married before Dre was even born. As far as Dre being uh, married to who he's married to, you know, uh, honestly, just to keep it all the way one, 100 with you, you know, um, my views and my doctrine don't change just because I fuck with somebody or love somebody. Dove was a blessing to him because Dove gave him something that most of us, you know, will never experience. Pete, what are you talking about? Meaning that some of you can break a bitch for some money, but you'll never be able to break a bitch for a kidney. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, she didn't, her loyalty has been tested in ways that most will never uh, be tested in. You know, uh, she's proven her love, her loyalty time and time and over again. But at the same time, like I've been told you guys that um, when it comes to this pimping, all right, watch this. When it comes to this pimping, it would be better, and I know, you know, I don't change up my words for nobody. You know, it would be better for you to marry a hoe or do something with your hoes, you know, versus basically being married or being involved with somebody who never was involved in the lifestyle with you. You see what I'm saying? So I don't change that because I love somebody or we friends or, or we brothers and all that type of shit. The truth is the truth. And the truth don't change because of a friendship or relationship or love and all of that shit. The game is above all of that. And I told you guys to never sit up there and leave this game and get married, you know what I mean, to a square broad, you know what I mean, who never did nothing for you in the lifestyle simply because it make you, it kind of make you look crazy. I told you that it'd make you look crazy. You know why? Because here you would say that this bitch gave you five years. Another P might say this bitch gave me 10 years or 15 or 20 years. It would look crazy for you to have that bride all that time. Or this bride gave you this much money and this, she gave you this and did that. But y'all didn't, you know, you don't have her or you don't have nobody you know what I mean? From from the game. You did. Hold on for a minute. Just give me one second, y'all. Oh damn, he hung up. Okay, cool. Hopefully he hit me back. You know, that's the love one on lockdown. But it's always better to be with your own. Me, I have no desires to get married. Me, I never see, I, I don't think from my human mind, me right now at the age of 38 years old, can I ever see myself getting married? No. If I wasn't even in the lifestyle, could I see, see myself being married? No. See, everybody, like I keep telling, everybody making a pimp thing, pimp, 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 pimp. Even if I wasn't in the lifestyle, I couldn't see myself being married. Now, as a man of God, when you're living for God, you obey God. So if the spirit of God told you that this is your wife and told you to get married to this woman, then as a servant of God, you got to be obedient to the most high. Or if he told you to marry multiple women and take multiple wives as a servant of God, you be uh, obedient to the most high. But he ain't never told me nothing like that. So guess what? I ain't married and I, I don't see myself getting married. I'm See, people just use the lifestyle. I'm telling you, even if I wasn't in the lifestyle, that wouldn't be nothing on my mind. You know, but at the same particular time, I'm not against marriage. If that's something that you want to do, all I'm doing is encouraging you to marry a hoe. Since you want to be married so bad, I'd rather see you marry a hoe than a square bitch that never put her life in danger, never sit up there and was in danger, never sit up there and seduce and reduce strangers, you know what I mean, to have your trap right top of the morning. I don't want to see you with the square. I would love to see you with the hoeing because it make the game look good, you know, but to each his own. Some, some, it didn't end like that. It, it didn't go like that for them. 
No, get married to the game. Hey, man, stop saying all that dumb ass shit in my comment section. You guys can talk like that, you know, in the comment section of them squares and shit. But, hey, to my mods, hey, man, keep my comment section pimpish. All this, I, uh, you know, a lot of times when I be teaching, I be missing a lot of square ass shit that be said in my comment section. A lot of times I wish I could, you know, uh, uh, you know, do that. But all of that uh, square shit, man, hey, it's, it's, stop all of that. Let me see. Let me just go through these comments. But then I divorced and left church and went back to the game. Mm. Rallo is not the pimpin. Who told you that? I'm not saying, you know, is or isn't, but but who told you that? Those are words you'll never hear from her. You know, uh, oh, okay, you quoting lyrics. Oh, okay, that's what's up. You quoting the lyrics of your favorite rapper? That's cute. That's what's up. I ain't mad at you. You want to turn a bitch out to the game and you yourself not married to it? You dumbass. Uh, why in the fuck would you be married to the game? Who told you that? Who... Who taught you this strange doctrine to be married to the game? I'm not married to the game. Nigga, marriage, nigga, marriage is in every fucking day. What I have uh, to the game is deeper than a motherfucking marriage, nigga. Sitting over there bringing up marriage and shit like that. These niggas want to be married so bad. You, you niggas are showing your true selves. Oh, husband, hard-ass niggas all in my comment section. You know what I mean? Uh, just keep pushing the marriage, man. God damn. They really trying to push this marriage on this pimping, man. Thanks for uh, to Kelby and Matt. I'm finally lacing my pimp boots and setting my girlfriend Lisa out on... Man, if you don't knock it off, appreciate the fire, though. Yeah, dude, just be saying anything. Niggas just pushing marriage. You know, like I said, I'm not against it, but I, what's up with all of this married to the game? And I, man, I'm not married to the game. See, y'all just want to be fly with the marriage and shit, man. <laughs> I'm not with all of that, man. Hey. Let me see. And then I, I can't stand another thing when you niggas be saying that shit. You know, but who, you know, uh, you know what I'm saying? But you can die alone and woo, woo, woo. I've already come to the reality that I should be using my youth to benefit my life when I'm elderly. I'm comfortable with dying alone if that's what ends up happening. Y'all make it seem like that's the end of the world. Like, damn, that's a sad thing. I heard the sin when he died. He died, you know what I mean, with his hoes, man. He died an old handsome man, you know what I mean, with his hoes. You know, I heard when he, I heard when he died, you know what I mean? Uh, he just, he died with some hoes. I wish that he would have died a married man. Why would you wish that on me, man? Like, you know, people marry outside of the, uh, outside of the divine will of God all the time. I don't want to be a part of that list. I see the consequences of that. That's because Too Short sure made that album married to the game. A hoe ain't going to pass the grave with a P. Niggas out here still saying I'm my best hoe. Man, listen. You you said it. Don't respond to I want somebody to love me. Ass niggas. Y'all going to make sinful boot all y'all asses out the chat. No, I ain't going to do that. They can stay. Sit back and soak up some of the teachings of sinful. You won't see a ring on the wedding finger, but you will see it on my pinky. <laughs> All these settled down ass dudes. Hey, I'm not mad at y'all. Feel the love. Ain't nothing wrong with loving your woman, man. Love that woman. If you feel led to get married, don't let me stop you. Get married and get out the way. Be a husband for real, for real. Stop trying to have one foot in and one foot out. No. Be married. Be with your boo thing. 
You know what I mean? This is your sugar lumpy plump. Love her. Be with her. Do all of that shit. You know, because see, like I told you, in this game, niggas will be in a pimp circle and they're going to talk all of that pimp shit. But behind, let, hold on, let me go get this. Hold on. Hold on, I'm going to tell you what niggas be on, right? Niggas be on some, yeah, man, you know what I'm talking about. You know, bitch gonna sit out there, man, tell me, you know what I mean? You know, uh, she want to settle down and be married and all that. <laughs> you know what I mean? I told the bitch, man, you know, what you tell her, bitch? Yeah, man, I told the bitch, man, you know what I mean? Yeah, bitch, you know what I mean? If I ever motherfucking get married, bitch, you nigga, you, you already know it's a clone. <laughs> yeah, because it ain't going to be me. Yeah, bitch, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, man, if I get married, man, that mean Adolf Hitler then came back as a good man around this motherfucking bitch. We all talk about, yeah, man, bitch talking about some man, she want to marry me, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, you know, all oh, that's up goofy shit. Yeah, I hear you, P. Yeah, I hear you, P. And then when niggas be by they self with the bitch, you know what I mean? When, 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 the, pimps, when the pimps ain't around... You know, because I, I told you, you niggas just be saying shit because your friends around. But when niggas be by themselves with the bitch, niggas be on this. Yeah, you know, uh, we've been together for some time. And, uh, as I begin to think about everything that you've ever done for me. Oh, my God. You know. Through the years, I began to just reminisce and I, I, I began to just thank God and it would just be foolish of me, you know what I mean, to have you just as my hope. I want to elevate you as my wife. I want to have you for the rest of my life. Oh my God, are you just playing? No, let me explain. Listen, you know what I mean, uh, I know that I know I play with you a lot, right? But one thing I want you to know, one thing you know for sure is that I love you. Oh my God. Let's get married. <laughs> <You know? laughs> hold on, hold on, let me let me take it back. Niggas, niggas be sitting over there, man. You know what I mean? Behind closed doors and shit. You know what I mean? With the bitch. You know, I have to be in a, uh, in a pimp circle and shit. Niggas be like, you don't got to go to the blade. You know, oh my God. Yeah. You've been taking care of me all this time when we was in the game. I think it's time that I take care of you. You know? Oh my God. <laughs> oh no. They really do. You know, you took care of me all that time when we was in the game. Now it's time for me to take care of you. Dun, dun, dun. Let's chill. <laughs> you know, now that you done walk up and down that blade, how about you walk down the aisle? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Niggas be sitting over there. Now that you done walked down that blade, how about you walk down that aisle with me? <laughs> you dig? So do not be fooled by these guys. Even uh, like I, even the Hakeem Ali dude, you know, he's cool with the wordplay. But he's a full-fledged square. Okay? He's a full-fledged square. He just a talented nigga with some cold wordplay out that Mississippi. Shout out to Mississippi. You know, but he's not the pimping. But he say some very playerish, mackish type of things. But he not no pimp. You know, so I had to sit up there and let you guys know. Niggas just really fight. Nah, P, you know, Mac Dre, you know what I mean? He was the, Mac Dre wasn't no pimp. Mac Dre was not a pimp. He was playerish. He was one of them playerish type guys. But no, he wasn't no damn pimp, man. Stop it. Let me see. 
I don't even know what this nigga talking about. Sound gay as hell. Moving on. Uh, you don't got to be on the blade. Right. You ain't got to be on the blade, baby. You know? Hold on. Uh, and they come this goofy trying to call me private. Y'all dumbass yesterday talking about that sugar free calling. I done started riffing and running. You stupid. Yeah, pimping, reminiscing, game over. Come on, please, please. Sing, please. I don't care what they say about us. Right. Seeing in love over there. You've been on the marriage topic, you know what I mean, for a minute. I am in love. A matter of fact, yeah, I'm in love with uh, blocking your ass. Out of there. 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 Gay that goofy too many times. Too many times. That's what I'm in love with, nigga. I'm in love with the block button. What that bitch say? rock a baby. You know what I mean? Get your goof ass on. Trying to be merciful to you, but your dumb ass just kept on. My boy, uh, MT Lay, somebody who a rapper, science artist, and that's uh, in the game. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I want to see how you speak with your hands so I can be more charismatic. Oh, okay. There we go. Rock about baby. Out of there. Out of there. Ask me all that gay dumbass shit. Out of there. You know, want to see me talk with my hands and shit. Nigga, I started to say something so disrespectful. Dre did have hoes, bro, but he wasn't no pimp. Right, I've been said that. Should have played Jacket Edge, Let's Get Married. Nah, I played that for uh, Sharp and Johnny Cash. Um, this the new update. Who got blocked? Uh, took care of that. Saying, what's your thoughts on academics? Then I don't care nothing about that shit. I mean, if y'all want me to talk about that shit, I'll talk about that shit. Plus, it'll, put, it, it'll uh, bring a lot of squares to the platform. But, you know, I mean, God, the, I don't know. Like, the shit that be being news... It just let us know it's been a tough week if this is news. Like, who really cares about academics screaming at his girlfriend? You know, now, of course, you know, it's a lesson. Even I can make a lesson out of anything. But who really cares about academics screaming at his girlfriend? Like, really? We talking about the lifestyle of pimping and hoeing and shit. You know, who really cares? You know, who gives a fuck? Let me see. Uh, let me see. Ack is a weirdo. I, I mean, I ain't going to say all that, you know. Um, I'm just going to say uh, he a goofy. Okay, moving on. But again, let me make this uh, very plain. Just because you didn't have distributes from prostitutes, that don't make you no pimp. Game bangers, strangers, you know, bloods, crips, GDs, and BDs. You know what I mean? Niggas that sell CDs and DVDs then got some currency from a bitch that sell pussy before. You know what I mean? You know, uh, bitches will pay a stop sign. Bitches will sit up there and give a bankroll to a lipo, man. You know what I mean? That don't make no motherfucker no goddamn pimp. You know what I mean? Because a bitch didn't allow the nigga that she liked to live off the earnings of her prostitution. You guys should have been known that. I mean, it's just it's just simple. So if that's the if that's the truth, which it is true, stop putting everybody, you know, in the thing. Let's uh, do a song. Uh, blessings to you, man. But you know, when I come out with my first uh, project, it's gonna be just by myself, no rappers. Let me see. Uh, let me see. I'm make, trying to make sure I ain't miss nobody question or statement. Little bro, if you want to be in love with Mac Dre, stay in love with Dre, bro. Whatever you want to think. If you want to think that Mac Dre was a, a real official 
authentic pimp, then bro, do your thing, bro. But no. I know that certain people grew up idolizing certain people. And it's kind of hard, you know what I mean, to hear that this individual that you idolized or had praise and worship service for is not the pimping. You know, it's breaking your heart, but no. I can hear your heart crying out for a pee. You know what I mean? You're crying out, man. I understand. You know, you got to destroy all of the posters. You don't have, and let me say this. I love you, man. You ain't got to destroy all of them posters. No, all of them posters that you got in your room or what have you, or autograph, you know, picture or what have you, you ain't got to destroy that, man. I can hear your heart crying out for a pee. <laughs> Niggas ain't no pimps, man. No. Filthy Richard pimp. Hell no. Filthy Richard a, a, a hustler. Filthy Rich got some game about itself. Filthy Rich a millionaire. Filthy Rich uh, did something, you know, with itself. But, you know, with all of them accomplishments and all of that, that's cool, fine, and dandy. But he still ain't this pimping either. Let me see. Y'all ready to beat me up, man, because I said y'all favorite rapper ain't no pimp, man. <laughs> you know? No. Nah. Nigga ain't no pimp, man. Let me see. I know niggas hurt. They upset. They mad at me, man, because I said that they favorite rapper, man, ain't no pimp, man. You know, I already know. Niggas ain't going to watch my videos for a little while, man. I agree to disagree, Sam, but blessings to you, brother. Man, you still a little bro, man. I still got love for you. You know? You ain't never heard me say that. You haven't heard me say that Rallo was not the pimping. That's what you did not hear me say. <clears throat> you didn't hear me say that. I already spoke on sauce. Blessings to that man. That man taking care of his business. He getting his money. But no, he's not the pimping. I don't know about Larry June. I don't know nothing about him. So I can't really say that he is or isn't. I don't know him. I don't know nothing about him. I've never heard no pimps say that, yeah, man, Larry, whoo, Larry doing some cold pimping. Man, I seen that nigga Larry June. Nah. I'd be interested to hear about what you was doing prior to you blowing up off the rapper. Yeah. Just like when they, if they bring seeing name up, right, before this YouTube shit, right, before the social media shit, right, seeing was what? pimping it wasn't just ooh shit damn uh man i see the youtubers they talking about the game let me go ahead and you know get in the lifestyle man because i seen a youtube video no what was your history prior to you rapping what was your history before you got famous you know with this music thing what was you doing what was you endeavoring to have what was you about? What was your character like? Exactly. Let me see. Let me see. Lil, Lil Bruce. Don't know nothing about him. I tried not to watch this one, Pete, because I already know what you, what, what you, man. Niggas might as well say cat. Yeah, man. And I heard a nigga actually say that before. Nah, P, you tripping. Cat Williams, he's some pimps. <laughs> oh, shit. Niggas actually said that one time. They was like, nah, P, you tripping, man. Cat, Cat Williams, some pimping. <laughs> I just started dying laughing. You know, now, has Cat had some prostitutes? Have Cat broke on some bitches before? I wouldn't put that past him. But was he just pimping, though? Uh, no. Oh, my God. Let me see. But, again, let me go through this list. Okay. Pimp C, Cole, Charismatic, 
You know what I mean? Pimp C had a personality, uh, personality like no other. You know what I mean? Musician. He could sing a little bit. You know what I mean? Pimp C was cold, man. Hung around pimps, had love for the game, was a fan of the game, but was not this pimping. He was not the pimping. That's not that, you know, Pimp C was a family man. Stop thinking everybody that got pimp in their name. Oh, he got to be a pimp, you know, because he got pimp in his name. No, Chad was a family man. He was a good dude. He was a respectable guy. He was a good man. He was a legendary rapper, but he wasn't no pimp. No, he wasn't no pimp. Uh, too short, legend, Bay Area legend, man. You know what I mean? Bay Area legend. Too Short got a lot of player uh, Mac type of classics. You know what I mean? Cold dude, man. Cold, cold. Definitely a legend. He's a rap legend. Been doing this thing since I don't know when. But no, he's not a pimp. Has he broken on some bitches? Has he charged some bitches before? Yes. He didn't have some situations before. Even with Divine Brown. You know what I mean? But guess what? You know what I mean? He ain't the pimpin' either. Yeah, he not the pimpin'. Mm-mm. He's an entertainer. He's a rapper. See, I'm trying to get you to understand, just like with gangsters, right? When it comes to this gangster shit, you got some niggas that can say some cold gangster shit over the instrumentals. I mean, man, they sound like killers. You know, if you listen to his voice and the way he say things, you would swear this nigga got, he pretty much Craig Monson and Tookie, Wills, uh, Tookie Williams in they youth, you know what I mean? With the way this nigga talking over these beats, man, like, man, cold with the killing, right? Come to find out, he's nothing like that. He's really a nice, well-mannered young man. You know, stop, you know, making uh, people live up to the things that they say in these, in these songs. That come with gospel music, rap music, country music, jazz music. Music is just music. It's only a few individuals that's actually living, you know, the things that they saying over these instrumentals. That that's really their lifestyle for real, for real. But majority in every genre of music, these are just gifted individuals that are just conveying things over instrumentals. Why do you even bring up mess? Like, if you actually think Messy Mar of a pimp, Man, take your hand and smack yourself. Certain names shouldn't even be brought up. Mess is a Bay Area legend. To me, as far as music concerned, Mess is the best. I know they love Dre. They love the 40 and Too Short. But me personally, as far as catalog, ain't nobody fucking with Mess. But is he a pimp? No. No. Let me see. Nigga, I never even blocked you. But I didn't have to block you, you know, because a nigga just blocked you for me. <laughs> I never even timed you out or blocked you, but I see the pimping. Uh, I see one of my moms did, so <laughs> out of there. Out of there. Yeah, I don't want to even speak on the dope fame shit. You see, I didn't even disrespect free with that shit. I just simply said that, you know, when you messing with them drugs and and things like that, you know, um, you can't really you can't really represent this game know how. Do you see what I'm saying to you? Like, imagine me doing crystal meth, and then getting on here trying to teach you the game. You're not even gonna be able to receive it. I can't represent this game, and I'm on crystal meth. This shit is destroying my brain. I'm losing brain cells doing this shit. How the hell I'm going to represent this game? You know what I'm saying? So I didn't really go too hard. I didn't go hard at all pertaining to the drugs because I have respect and love, you know, for free as a man and him as a legend and things like that. So I didn't even go into all of that. I just went from a place of, you know, him first coming into the game off the strength of his baby mama, you know, breaking his heart. So you came in, you made a start because your woman broke your heart. You know, that's not the reason why you come into this game, man. 
That's a very square. And just to be real, uh, sugar free interviews always kind of been square as uh, fuck. You know, when it when when it came to like answering questions pertaining to the game, you know, you can speak indirectly but very directly and still be very pimpish. You know, uh, with you answering things pertaining to the game, and he just never, you know, really done that. You know, cold legend with the music, but you know, when it came to like speaking on the game and shit like that, you never really left with like, ooh, ooh, that was jewelry. That was some hella jewelry that came out that man's mouth. Ooh, no, he don't, he don't give you that type of feeling. Mm -mm. Appreciate that five, man. Good looking. Yeah, he don't give he don't give you that type of feeling. And let me make this known, you know, um, can pimps rap? Yes, we have authentic pimps that have gifts that can rap, sing, play instruments. But it's the difference between a pimp that has the ability to rap versus a rapper that's using his claim to fame, using his popularity to get currency from bitches that sell pussy. It's a big difference. You got one person that's a pimp that's trying to convince you that he's a rapper. Then on the other side, you got a rapper that's trying to convince you that he's a pimp. See how, see the difference? Let me see. I don't even know, uh, Jay Bay. I've already spoke on that, man. All you new guys uh, coming in. No, Filthy was not uh, really in it, man. Stop it. He didn't have some broads, and he didn't know what to do with them. Are them guys on uh, Donald Penn? Too deep. Too deep can rap. Too deep definitely can rap. He can rap his ass off. Mess catalog is on par with Jack. I put him on the same level. Uh, I put him above. Yeah, mess, mess the uh, best to come out the Bay Area as far as uh, rapping is concerned to me. As far as like songs, his catalog is second to none. Let me see. Andre Nicotina, cold, cold. Cold with it too. I forgot all about Andre. Yeah, Andre Nicotina got some cold shit. Come on, man. Get your dumb ass up out of here asking me that stupid ass shit. Uh, Soldier Slim was living everything. Yeah. Uh, as far as on some gangster shit, yeah. Uh, let me see. Yeah, comments getting very goofy. This is what I'm going to do for y'all. Let's see. Because it's still early. I'll take a few calls because this is going to be one of my... Uh, I think I'll probably end up putting this on. Uh, I might let it rock out. I don't know. My people will let me know. Jay Worthy. Jay Worthy is a nice guy. You know, he's doing his thing as far as the, the music is concerned. He got some cold music, man. Jay Worthy got some good music. Shout out to him. Let me see. Bro, why you keep asking me about Dre when I didn't already spoke on Dre? E-40 overall got the best catalog. I mean, everybody got their own opinion. I respect yours. Yeah, I ain't mad at you. Come on, man. Niggas just saying anything in my shit. Uh, Jay really ain't no P. He a Mexican for one. Yeah, but he got some good music. Notice how, you see, that's how you can respectfully speak on somebody. If somebody say, man, uh, you know, you ever heard or you ever seen or you, do you ever know if this guy's some pimp? You can say, you know what? That guy makes some good music. You know, I like that guy. And I do. Jay Worthy got, as far as beat and, and beat selection and everything, like Jay Worthy is very slept on. Jay Worthy got some cold ass shit, you know, but as far as the, the uh, pimping, 
you know, that's my only answer uh, to that. Come on, man. What you going to ask me as a snitch or pimp for? But uh, I'm going to let y'all uh, attack me. Come on in. Call me. Instead of being in the comment section. And don't ask me no goofy shit. Ask me pertaining to this. The topic. Now you got my number. Let's see. No, you ain't have to, uh... No, uh, he ain't have to be. You can put, you can bring him back. Now, if he asks me about Dre again, yeah, I'm going to block him. Because it's like, I've, I've I already answered that. Like, seeing they're going to bite at you. I'm ready. That's why I opened up the phone line. Some of you guys uh, want to be some of these guys' hoes. <laughs> That's some of y'all problems. You know? Yeah, but yeah, call in right now, man. 702-800-9473. And if I said anything, man, that's contrary to, you know, what you believe or what you like or what you know or anything like that, man, you got the opportunity, man, and, you know what I mean, to chop seeing up, man. You know what I mean? And call me and say, hey, Sam, you don't know what you're talking about, man. You know what I mean? Woo, 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 man. You know what I mean? And really pop your collar, man, and chop me up about this shit, man. You know? Be like, man, I was down with him, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, we didn't pimp side by side, man. I done seen this man, you know, go through this. And before the rapping, and, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, wasn't no drug dealing. Wasn't no mixing it to fix it. You know, wasn't no boyfriend and girlfriend shit, man. You know, no, yeah. <laughs> you know? Some real representation. Like, man... The square shit y'all be asking me. It ain't it it really ain't no mainstream. You right. I don't know no mainstream uh pimp rappers. No. Uh-uh, I don't. You right about that. You know. Bro making me think that he's behind within the video because he just keeps saying dumbass shit. Who's my top five with the P-Raps? Uh, top five? Of course, you know, Sugar Free would be number one. Um, yeah, it would be free. And really, you know, uh, Freeze haven't had enough time to really, like, you know, do his thing, really, uh, in the studio. All that shit that y'all heard and liked on, you know, that wasn't in a professional studio just imagine if he actually got in a studio with you know a producer you know to do his thing i believe that uh freeze would you know uh actually give us you know some more uh eternal classics man to enjoy i really do think that what's going on with it what's up with you man uh yeah i got a real question for you man since you know since I got through so easily, uh, let's say I'm dealing with this bro, man, and I'm trying. I, I, I've been, I've been on top of a bro. I had is this left, pertaining? Yeah, is this pertaining to the topic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 um, it's, it's about the game. No, it's about the game. no, it's like, no. I thought you was calling me regarding the things that I've said. I'm not trying to hear all of you know with the broad and all of that. Is it pertaining to the topic, what I'm speaking on right nah, now? Nah, 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 you got it. Nah, All right. Nah. All right, again, 702-800-9473. I ain't trying. Yeah, man, you know, and, uh, you know, I met this girl, you know, uh, see, I got the girl CZ Boo. You know, what should I do, P? You know, uh, you know, now, I done had the bitch for two weeks. My dick been on hard. I'm just keeping it real. I ain't had no pussy in a month. Should I scare that kid? Should I fuck that bitch? I've been wanting to blow her back up, but see, the reason why I have not fucked is because the bitch has not given me a trap above $500. Every trap been $250 this, $370 that. 
You know what I mean? I just been jagging off and I'm tired of this, man. I really want to fuck, but it's like, damn, bitch, when you gonna pay me? Hold on. Hello? Hello, is this Yeah, what's happening with it? Okay, uh, I'm, a, I'm a young cat out here in Arizona. I just wanted to ask, man. Yeah, still keep the plan. I can't. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It blanked out on you. You said who? I said still keep the plan. It you you said who? Silky plan. Okay, what about Silky? Uh, you said uh, some some cats out here just professing to be a, a pimp. I just want to know if he was professor. To, uh, honestly, have you ever heard me say that Silky Slim wasn't no pimping? Not at all. Right. It's a reason for that. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's Appreciate all I'm going to say. I wasn't trying to really go out and say, yeah, what's the name some pimping? What's the name some pimping? Because I know that everybody that's watching my videos is not the pimping or people that love pimping. So you got uh, the police watching my shit. You got them other people watching my shit. So, of course, if somebody is a pimp, I'm a yeah, now that nigga right there, he really mashing. That nigga, you know, when you see his uh, cars and clothes, that didn't come off the rapping. He ain't really making no money off rapping. He getting it out of the whole ass. He really, like, I'm not going to do all of that. You know, it's like, oh, yeah. why, would, why would you do all that, you know? So, but but good looking. All right. Hello. Okay, what about Silky? Hello. I guess he got uh, stage right. I don't know. Hello. Yo, what's happening, Sam? What's happening? All right, so... You, the the topic at hand is basically pertaining to that rappers that's claiming to be the ism that's really not right. Yeah, I was uh, saying, you know, certain things so these rappers, these men can do what they want to do and people not looking at the population of pimps because of what a rapper did. So if any of these guys decide to get married and they decide to, let's say, if they call the case that they have nothing to do with this or that, I don't want people to say, well, how could you say that you're not a pimp or this wasn't pimpish or this was contrary to the game when Max so-and-so did this or pimp so-and-so did this and, you know, he a pimp. He been rapping about this for 10, 15 years. I wanted to give the people a distinction between authentic pimps that rap versus basically rappers that's using the fame off of actually rapping oh, about the game, the game. Yeah, and the they game. just knocking yeah, bitches and yeah, breaking yeah. bitches because of their celebrity. Okay, well, I'm from Houston, right? So I watched songs come up in his game, you know what I'm saying? And I watched him break on a bunch of bitches out here, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And do all that. So is it, is you saying like, you know how niggas sell the game through podcasts, through books? So once you get the money from the bitch and you invest in your rap career, is it okay to sell the lifestyle then do the music? Is it okay to be an active pimp and do music? I mean... Is that your question? I feel like he... I, I feel like he's still active, but on Are the you, fans. Brother, you know is that saying? your question? Can you be an active pimp yes. and still do music? Yes, absolutely. And then let me say this. You will reach a level in the game financially where you have to do something legally because you got too much hold dough. And you got too much. So the reason I said that, the reason ahead, I said brother. that, like I said, though, before I knew songs for the music, I knew him for the pimp. Out here in Houston, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like he just took the whole money and invested in the rap career and his image and his character just popped him, you know what I'm saying? So now he used the popularity that he got to pop bitches, you know what I'm saying? You knew Sauce basically for having bitches. You didn't know him for pimping. If you if you think that you knew Sauce for pimping, it's because you didn't know what pimping was. Yeah. Yeah. I so, think, so you know, having bitches and getting money from bitches and even setting them down, you know, that don't really put you in this glorious, in you know, prosperous, you understand me, category with this pimping, you know. Yeah, but it, it does mean that 
you know, you didn't have some dealings with some bitches. So of course, when you make money, I mean, when you make music about the game, the you know, we'll feel the shit that because you, you got. Say, you say, you say, damn, bro, you don't hear it. You, you damn, bro, how many times you gonna cut the pimping off? But go ahead, let me listen to you. Now, the reason I said that is because you say a pimp, all he do is pimp. So before the music, that's all the niggas seen him doing was pimping on the bitch. So that's why I say once he built the popularity and got the money and put it behind himself, he started selling the game through the music. So what's okay, the difference between pimping and getting the money okay, from the okay, bitch okay, and selling okay, it through okay. the books or through the podcast? Did you feel me? Goddamn. Um... Let me let me let me give understanding because it, it just keep going over y'all head, and I don't know why I've said it for the innumerable time. Um, let me just say this again: when we say pimps only pimp, meaning that he's not drug dealing, he's not uh, into other things as far as in the life of criminality to get his currency. You know, he he checking it out of a whole ass. But a pimp will reach certain levels where he has to get a business or he got to get involved in something legal. He got to take that dirty money to the cleaners. You know, yes. otherwise he going to be looking at some federal time, you know, real soon having the things that he had. He got the things that he got going on and it all come out of a hose ass. You know what I mean? Right. Uh, he gonna be looking at some time real soon doing a lot of shit he doing if he don't find, you know, some legal activities to get into. So it's a must that he do that. So again, when we say pimps only pimp, we be, we, what we really saying is, yeah, man, I checked this out of the hoes ass. I didn't sit up there and get this from the spoon. This came from the womb. You know, but as far as businesses and getting into legal activities, Pimp's been into legal activities before we was even born. Right, right, right. What you mean I can't yeah, say I that because I, Big Virgil sold... Oh. Okay, all right, man, good luck. Right. Yeah, you know what I mean? How you gonna say that? Nigga, I said that Virgil is a Mac. Virgil wasn't this pimping. It's a difference. Virgil was... Um, Virgil will tell you that he was checking it from the womb and the spoon. He's a Mac. He's, to me, the coldest Mac that has ever lived. But was he a pimp? No. But as far as the Macking is concerned, for sure. For sure. I ain't know nobody, you know what I mean, to produce as long as he has for decades who you know on Virgil's level. So as far as the number one Mac of all time, it would be Virgil. But you know you trying to put him in the P category, and you you doing too much. Hello. Hello. But yeah, you 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 doing too much. You know I've already spoke on uh, lavish. Let me see. Let me see. Virgil was a Mac, which was to fulfill uh, the pimping. No, man, no, no, man, yeah, no, 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 no. Um, again, when you speak to people about the Macking, I told you that as you travel, you will see that everybody got different definitions of what the Macking is. Why? Because the Macking is subjective. But the pimping is not. Fluky Stokes was uh, bigger uh, than Virgil. Fluky Stokes wasn't no god. Fluky Stokes wasn't having hoes. What are you talking about? Why did you bring? Why did you bring Fluky Stokes in this conversation? Yeah, Fluky stayed fly and everything. But you know, when it came to a bitch, you know he was kind of square. He wasn't. You know, he wasn't no. Uh, he wasn't Mac. Uh. Uh. He was a cool player. You know, he had player type ways. But no, he was nothing like a Virgil. A bunch of fellowship checked it both uh both both ways. Hey, if you want to sit up there and work harder than the hoe, don't don't let me stop you. You know, if you want to sit up there and try to get revenue from all avenues, man, then go ahead and work hard or, or work harder than that hoe, man. Get to work. 
But again, you know, pimps don't sell dope. There is no drug dealing in the pimping. I don't care who you like or who you cool with and all of that. I don't bite my tongue for nobody. Pimps are not drug dealers. Pimps do not sell drugs. Pimps are not involved with that. Come on, man. Stop saying that name. Goddamn. What you his hoe or something? Saying you think it's lame for rappers to use their fame to get um, to, uh, uh, to get more hoes. I mean, if a bitch dumb enough to actually pay a rapper because he made a nice song, then, you know, then that's on the bitch. Hello. What's up? What's up? What's happening? Yeah, man. I just want to know, like, okay, so you saying that uh, you're talking about the pimps and the rappers and the rappers acting like they pimps. I just want to know what's the difference between you, man. You you do a lot of rapping about the game. I never you know rapped about the game. Well, when I say rapping, I ain't talking about rapping as in rhyming, but I'm talking about rapping. Speaking as about, as the talk game, about the game a lot. Yeah, but what, what's your point? And I'm trying to even figure out why you even think the way that you think and you a man. So let me let me hear some intelligence. Shoot. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and break it down as a person who... Go ahead, you know, try. It. Okay, go ahead. I'm like this, man. All you... What put you in a position to dictate and speculate about everybody else? What about you? Because if you sit down, it's like, how can the pot call the kettle black? You know, you sit and you, you say whatever, you know, about this person pimping and what they doing, what about you? Okay, go ahead and expound. What about me? What put you in a position to speculate and dictate everybody else? But when somebody spectate and dictate you, it's a problem. You won't let a person get a word in or try to hang up on a person. You see what I'm saying? So I'm like, come on, man, keep it fair, man. You can't, the pot can't call the kettle black. You know, you 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 can't try to look down on one person, but on the if the shoe on the other foot, a motherfucker can look down on you. What is you doing that's put you on so high of a pedestal where you can sit back like the judge of the game? Who put you in that position? That's all I want to know. On some real shit. Okay, did you see how when you spoke how I didn't interrupt you? I'm listening to you. No, I'm asking you. Do you see how when you spoke, how I didn't interrupt you when you were speaking? I ain't interrupting you now. I'm letting you speak. No, I'm asking you a question. Did I interrupt you when you were speaking? No, go ahead. I'm listening to you. Okay, so if I didn't interrupt you when you were speaking, then how is it that you can say that, you know, I'm rushing people off the phone and, and doing all of that? I'm sinful to pee. When have I ever ran from a question or a statement that any of you had? That's insulting. Number one. Well, also hold, on, shit, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now you interrupted me. Now you, in, now you interrupted me. Shit. Excuse me, excuse me. Now you interrupted me while I'm talking. Now you're doing the very same thing that you just accused me of doing. It's called conversating, but go ahead, bro. No, it's called interrupting a man when he's speaking. If you don't have no self-control, let me know now. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, you, bro. Yeah, go ahead, yeah, go ahead, go yeah. ahead, bro. Because I, I really no, no. You don't have to like, give me. Like, you don't what? have to give me permission on my own thing to go ahead. I'm allowing you to go ahead. Now, listen. This is what I will say to you: Is any true pimp, anybody that actually loves the game, it's not a certain position. It's just having love for the game to protect this game to be a watchman. Over this game. Well, who, who, I just so happy. Brother, game? brother, be quiet. I'm speaking. I don't even know you. You just, uh, for, to who, me, you just some little guy that's in. Position, brother, I'm brother, brother, brother. Just, you can, I, watch this, watch this. Bro, watch this. Hold on, let me, let me do this. Let me, let me turn you down. Again, you can die right now. Nobody would know you. Because you're nobody in the game. You're nobody on the internet. You just a nobody. So again, so again, brother, 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 be quiet, hush. Again, people in the lifestyle are going to protect the lifestyle. Why? Because they love the game. You keep talking about a position. I'm talking about a person that loves the game. It's not a, ooh, uh, I got this position. No, it's because I'm a pimp and I protect the game, nigga. So if it's anybody that's in the game, and they truly love the game, 
They don't want to see no hoe being presided over by, you understand me, a male actress, which is another word for a rapper. That's why. What? And I agree with you. Now, you don't have no choice but to agree with me, with nigga. I'm sinful. Hey, listen, listen now, hold on, man. Now, Check. Now. Hold on, hold on, partner. Hold on, hold on. So, well, I, I don't know who you think you're talking to. You're not talking to no square. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. Partner, 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 partner. Okay, yeah. See, this is how niggas get hung up on. When you call in, you call respectfully. You don't be sitting over there. I'm not trying to have no Shaka Khan. Patty LaBelle contest with you little niggas. I don't even know you. You don't even know you. The game don't even know you. So it just be like these little nobodies that's standing up on a chair trying to sit up there and talk to giants and stuff, talking about who made you. Imagine a non-existent motherfucker talking about some, you know, how you living? Like, come on, man. Like, for real. Again, it's not a, a position. It's the fact that you know, like, oh, man, I got to get a, reach a certain subscribers or get a certain views. No, it just so happened to be an authentic pimp that was blessed with a platform to speak about pimping. If I have a voice and I can use it to hinder young, impressionable uh, minds of young females coming into the game and choosing up on rappers who are on discord and not on one accord with this game. And I can use my voice to hinder that. Then why in the fuck would I not? Think before speaking. No, don't, don't, no, you know? Yeah, you got to think before speaking. Don't be calling in and hollering and screaming and, you know, all of that goofy shit. No. Who, who made you? Listen, this is the cold part. All I did was say y'all favorite rapper ain't no pimp, and now y'all want to kill the pimping. You know, all I did, all I did was say that your favorite rapper wasn't no pimp, and now you niggas want to beat me up. Now y'all want to cause me physical. <laughs> oh shit! If I would have known that it was this easy to sit up there, you understand, make you grown ass men cry, I'd have been told you that your favorite rapper wasn't no pimp a long motherfucking time ago. <laughs> oh shit! Imagine being a grown ass man and you calling and you, and you trying to go to bed for your favorite rap because he made a song, you know what I mean, that you like. You know, you niggas ain't no different than these bitches, man. You know, he made a melody. You know, it was a, the vocal arrangement was so beautiful. You know what I mean? That you just fell in love with it. That you like, let me, let me call in. He got to be a pimp. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, man, 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 man. Imagine being uh, in a dusty-ass area within Milwaukee and trying to sit up there and call this pimping, man. Like, come on, man. All right, hold on. What's going on, Pete? What's happening? Bless you, Pete. What's happening, Dow? Oh man, just another one like the other one, man. Enjoy this Honolulu with my feet up. You dig? What's going yeah. on with a big old camera? Oh man, Samoa and Samoa. Just sitting over there, you know, protecting this game, being a watchman of this game. That's, you know, like I do. What's happening with it, though? Oh man, you already know I'm just standing on these bitches' heads like Lynn on dreads. But shit, yeah, man, the last caller, man, was kind of a goofy, man. You can't come into another man's realm. And be expecting your thoughts. That motherfucker goofy to the best you done, church. Yeah, he really was trying to give an instructor some instructions, man. I don't know what was wrong with him, you know, but blessings to the young man. Hopefully, man, if he called back another time, he'll have some self-control and we can have a conversation like two men instead of a shock of uh, con and a, a Patty LaBelle contest because I ain't trying to prove who got the best uh, natural first soprano within the first uh, within the conversation. No. See there. Yeah. But... I mean, from ism standpoint, you know, have I said anything wrong? Have I said, you know, you know, another P on here now. So let me ask you, um, have I said anything wrong by saying that there is a difference between a pimp that has the ability to rap? That's trying to convince everybody, hey, I'm a rapper, but he's actually really a pimp that's doing some pimping. 
versus somebody who's really not the pimping, but knows about the game and telling, uh, telling about it from a lyrical form and then using his popularity off of basically his, you know, little rap celebrity in the game, you know, to basically knock bitches. You know, he's not the pimping, but he's using this to campaign to sit up there, you know what I mean, and have bitches because we both know that if a nigga got some cool songs about this game and especially if he living in Vegas, chances are, you know what I mean, that he gonna end up having, you know what I mean, some action that hoes and shit like that because the nigga got some music, but he ain't no pimp. Dig that, Pete. Man, a motherfucker gotta know how to differentiate this shit, church. You feel me? It's, it's, it, it's just a big difference. All I'm saying is when you really love this game for real, for real, you know, you can't just let anybody. It's just like uh, back in the day when individuals couldn't speak lit, when individuals, you know, wasn't walking accordingly, you know, uh, if they wasn't conducting themselves, you know what I mean, and walking upright, man, they got a pumpkin head. You know, these individuals, could, uh, if they professed it, but really wasn't manifesting it, man, they got pumpkin heads. They was being a false flag. They was being individuals, you know what I mean, that was confessing it, but they wasn't manifesting it. So they got beat up. They got, they got called out. Why? For being a false flagger. They wasn't on count. Man. So, it, so, I mean, you gotta, go ahead. Another thing too, to right, a, a lot of these motherfuckers see even the dress code. Now, now, a lot of motherfuckers dress like rappers and shit. Motherfuckers don't really, you know, get heavily looted and suited and booted like the original, you know, art form of this shit. Now, I understand everything involves. You still can involve with your put together, but m more so now, motherfuckers that's claiming this ism, you know, really be dressing like rappers and shit with the tight, funny looking ass jeans and all. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Yeah. You dig? You set the shoes on and shit. You know, I come from an era where, you know, coming to the blade with tennis shoes on was a no no. You dig me? Man, listen, when I first seen you, and especially uh, Nash and there, you guys look like models, you know what I mean, for the pimping. Like, if it was a magazine called Pimp, <laughs> you niggas would have been on the front cover. And that's just to be uh, that's just to be 100. You know what I mean? Uh, you've been knowing me since 2007. See, it's a difference from talking to individuals, rapping about it, or calling in, trying to talk about it, to individuals that I've actually seen feet on concrete, you know, about it. You know, having hoes, really pimping. That's really what that man do for a living. That's what he does. If a hoe leave him, you know, he's fucked up. Why? Because he's, he's obligated you know what I mean? To fulfill basically the pimp. What is that? He's obligated to basically just stay down until he come up. Why? Because pimp's only pimp. He's not going to sell no drugs. He's not going to fill out a job application. He's going to endeavor to knock another bitch by having a conversation with the bitch. So, you know, I, 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 and another thing, like I try to tell him, you know what I mean? Uh, respect to all the guys that got it from the wound in the spoon. But just don't put the pimp with it. Yeah, just don't put the pimp with it. You know what I mean? I respect you if you was getting your money. You was doing some cold macking. You was doing some cold hustling. You know what I mean? But like I said, man, you know what I mean? There's a difference between a natural bodybuilder versus somebody who's using steroids versus somebody that's using creatine and they a man in a can and all of that. And I know they got muscles everywhere and they just rip. But you can't put them in the same category as somebody who's naturally built, somebody who's actually making sacrifices to look like that naturally without steroids. Mm -hmm. That's all and, I'm and saying. Especially these youngsters, and especially these youngsters. My advice to the youngsters who's you know trying to get get their feet wet in this shit is find a veteran pimp, man, to communicate with at all times. This thing is, this thing is, it's not no joke, man. Motherfucker can get their life took fucking around the wrong way with this, in this lifestyle. You see what I'm saying, Finn? Mm-hmm. 
and, and, and a lot of motherfuckers think they can just go and watch the little podcasts and these little uh, YouTubers and then go out there and find themselves in predicament. There's deep rules and regulations in this thing. You will always want to find an active veteran or even a veteran as a, a, a veteran pimp, even if he ain't active, be able to communicate with this man. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, Dow, I'm going to keep it up with this smoke. I appreciate you for calling in. I'm about to sit up there and move on. Love. Already, Pete. Pimp safe around this. Man. All right. Yeah, man, that number is 702-800-9473. Yeah. I know you guys still mad. You still upset. You still want to hurt me. You know what I mean? Because I told you that your favorite rapper <laughs> ain't this pimping. <laughs> Niggas want me, what, what Pac said, niggas want me uh, murder for the shit that I said, you know? Hello? <laughs> Goofy. But, yeah, man, you know what I mean? I, I got love for everybody, you know what I mean? But, you know, everybody just ain't this pimping, that's all. Hello? Blessings to the P. Blessings to the P. Ism, ism. Yeah, man, chopping the game, man. I appreciate the subject today. It's right on time, man. Yeah. Talk to yeah, me. Man. What's on your mind? I just want to elaborate on the discussion, man. You know, if you paid attention to what Boosie said, he the rapper. You know, he he not active in his career as a criminal. Mm -hmm. And he told Vlad straight up, like, come on, man, we just rappers. These niggas ain't active in with the shit they talking about. They actors, not the motherfucking truth of what they talking about. Right. You know, the truth, the, the, the true ones are the ones hidden underground. We ain't exposing ourselves, man. We not recording ourselves with cameras and, and devices and things like that so we can catch them charges. That ain't gonna happen, man. So, you know, I don't pay attention to a lot of these cats, man. A lot of these cats, you know, made a career off the image of the game, but they weren't chosen by the game. And they not the representation of the game, you know. So, you know, we in a, we like the music and we, we think they cool peoples and all. But at the same time, there's very few, very few of these niggas that's really the game and the ism, man. Right, right. And I appreciate you, man, for saying that and calling in. Blessings to you, fam. Right. Hello? Right. I need you to turn your uh, uh, turn that uh, down. What's going on? What's going on, Pete? What's going on? Salute, salute, Salute. What's going on? Talk to me. Yeah, I don't know if you saw the uh, the Boosie interview on Big Chance. Uh, Pimpin' Ken was on there. Oh, Pimpin' Ken was with Boosie on Drink Chance. Yeah, Pimpin' Ken was on there. Yeah, Pimpin' Ken was with Boosie on Drink Chance. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. That's what's up. Yeah, yeah, I was, I was, yeah, I was gonna call and see what your thoughts was on, but I see that you didn't catch up on that one yet. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm gonna have, give us a little I'm gonna have to. On that, that yeah, you did with the uh, the Shark Tank one. Yeah, I, I might uh, check it out and might you know uh, decide to speak on it. Thank you for putting me on game. I didn't even know that. Yeah, it seems like a lot of peas is uh, you know they shining right now. I got you know what I'm saying. Uh, to it's, to it's, it's a blessing, man. Appreciate that. Thank you for calling in. He has so much going on in the background. Um, 702-800-9473. Call in. And, you know, one thing about it, man, even if you disagree with me, sin going to listen to you, you know, but, you know, you just got to know how to talk. You know, to another man, I'm going to listen to you when you're talking. No matter what you're saying, I'm not going to interrupt you. But when you call in and, you know, ah, then when I start talking, ah, I'm like, ah, oh, Lord, let me get this bitch nigga off the phone. Hello? Yeah, man, what's happening with it? Top of it, top of it. Top of it. Yeah, this trap, you know what I'm saying, calling out of that Pittsburgh. But, hey, man, um... Shit, I really just called to chop it up with you in politics, man. But let me say this, though. Um, see, what, what it is is a lot of people got entertainment mixed up with what's really going on. And a lot of motherfuckers think just because you're talking about something that that's the lifestyle that you live in. 
know what I'm saying? And you got to be able to separate the two. Like, yeah, it's, a, it's a lot of people who talk about, you know, what they doing or, or what they so-called doing, you feel me? And it sound good, but we all know that's not really what they doing, though. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, man, I just wanted to say, you know, you got to be able to separate the two and don't get caught up in the lyrics and the music, man. Yeah, it sound good, and you feel me? It might uh, it might be a good bad for whatever you doing, but that don't mean that they doing it, though. Yeah, I mean? Yeah. Yeah, man, that's all I wanted to say, man. But, um, shit, what, what's going on, though? What's going on with the pimping? Oh, man, blessed to see another day, man. Head above ground, still got my liberty and society. It's a blessed day. You know, I'm appreciative for, you know, still having the activity of my limbs, man, and still having my freedom, you know? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's all you can be, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's all you can be. Huh? Um, yeah, man, this, uh, this number that I got, yeah, I got a, I got a 504 joint now. I used to call from the 412 shit, but yeah, I mean, I'm on the 504 shit. So oh, okay. um, if you ever see me texting or hit you up, yeah, I mean, it's me. Oh, okay. Well, blessings to you, man. Appreciate you for calling. Let me see. Again, uh, 702-800-9473. Hello. Hello? Hello? Yeah, what's going on, fam? Hey, what's good? What's good, Sam, man? Um, I, I'm, I'm a little kind of behind on the live right now, man. So okay. whenever you pick up, I'll look caught off guard. Okay. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, yeah, man. Hey, this your man Malik calling out that Dallas, man. You know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, just messing around a little bit, man. I, I really just wanted to call in and say that, uh, you know, I feel like the problem with a lot of guys, man, especially when they come to these, uh, to these rappers, and hopping down on you, man, uh, you know, just for calling out the truth is that a lot of young men don't have nothing to identify with. And so what I think it is, man, I'm, you know, I'm going to use myself as an example. I'm not a pimp or anything like that. But I got some ways to myself, not pimpish ways, but uh, player ways that you just have to see if he was present, right? But when it comes to a lot of young men, bro, especially my age, 28, younger, and even older guys, man, which I think is corny as fuck when you got 30-year-olds, 30 30, I mean 35, 40-year-old niggas, trying to identify with some pimping. And so, man, um, it's just one of them things, man, uh, you know, it happened when, when Kevin Samuels came along. And, uh, you know, it happened when the Andrew Tate dude came along. You got so many young niggas that, that don't have no type of originality or creativity or imagination. And all they cannot do is, and all they can do is identify with niggas that are not them. So that's all I called in to say, Pete. I appreciate the game, bro. I appreciate you for calling in, sincerely. Thank you. Yes, sir. Right on. Let me see. Yeah, if you thought that T.I. was a pimp, <laughs> if you actually think that T.I. was the pimping, it's because you didn't know what pimping was. If you actually thought that T.I., Mr. The, the, uh, the T.I., the tipster, Mr., uh, you know, uh, here, I'm here to tell you about a tip. My name is Tip, but I'm here to talk about another tip. If you think that he was the pimping, it's because you did not know what the pimping is. Hello? Okay. Yeah, it's because you didn't know, you know what I mean, what the pimping with is. That's all that means. If you actually think that, you know what I mean, T.I., Mr. You Can Have Whatever You Want, you know, was the pimping. It's because you didn't know, you know, what the pimping is. Hello? Bless him, bless him. What's happening, brother? Bless him, Pete. What's going on with it? Man, there's so much to unfold and unpack on this subject, bro. Like, real shit. I was just knocking on the little baby, and she all she wanted to talk about and play was talking about Larry June, little 25-year-old green-eyed swim. Mm-hmm. And I'm sitting here like, oh, she thinks she's putting me on, and she don't know I'm 39. I've been in the game since goddamn 2000, bro. So all that to say is, hey, man, you can't put me on. So I said, I said, let me listen to what the bro talking about. Yeah. So I hear my, he got a little, you know, he's spending a little game, but I think he ain't the ism. He ain't the game. And that's when I had to fall back on the broad and realize, 
she not the game either. <laughs> <laughs> she not the game either. See, I I, I you know, know I know certain songs uh, by Larry June, but I've never really listened to a like a full mixtape of of Larry. So I I can't really if you notice I really don't speak of him speak on him too much. You know he got some cool little songs, but you know um, I just haven't been interested to listen to a whole project yet. Yeah, I mean, I ain't heard of the nigga till I just knocked on the bitch this week, you know, and the bitch just, you know, couldn't stop talking, you know, talking about the nigga, sending me videos and shit. So I said, let me check him out. And then I hear him, you know, he got a little sauce, he got a little game, he's spitting, but he's young. So when I'm, I'm realizing these niggas is half square, you know, they, first off, the game ain't chose them, they trying to choose the game. You know, they, they weren't born in it, they weren't raised in it, it ain't in their blood, it, it, it ain't, they ain't have to, you know, uh, 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 do it for survival, like you were talking about early on the Greyhound bus, ain't got no wrongs, God, God damn it, you gotta get a bitch to get the player, get the date, you feel me? So, you know, they don't know that life. These niggas is hearing it and thinking it's cool, but, and these, 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 these square ass females, they like the lifestyle too, but they have squares and wanna be hoes. So they not even chosen by the game. So, you know, I stay away from all them motherfuckers, man. I don't like half hoes and and none of these frauds and, and, and faggot ass hoes, man. I'm straight. <laughs> I'm fucking with a straight up. <laughs> well, that's that's what's up, fam. I appreciate you, man, for calling in, man. Good looking. Blessings, bless. Blessings yeah. to you. Blessings to you. All right, man. We're going to do this for about a good 15, 20 minutes because I actually want to get into another video probably later tonight if I could. You know, if I can't, then just know that I, I sincerely wanted to. But, you know, for whatever reason, man, you know, I couldn't, man, you know. Um, but I do. I actually do want to. I know y'all want celebrity topics and all that type of shit, man. It, I'm so behind on the video. All right, man. Hello. Hey, what's up with you, Sam? How you doing, boy? Man, blessed to see you another day. What's happening, fam? All right, my, my question is. Um, could you explain to us some of the characteristics that will make a man a pimp without a doubt in your mind? Mm -hmm. I know I know you explained that he got to get it out the womb. We know that. Mm -hmm. Is there mm -hmm. any other characteristics that you look for to well, where you say, OK, without a doubt, that's a pimp right there? Well, that, you know, of course, somebody can just say, ooh, you know, that's a pimp. But that's something that, you know, over time. You know, we've seen okay. that, you know what I mean, that you stood the test of time. A lot of people be trying to just make it like it's a, ooh, voila, it's there. Like, uh, no, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a process. It's just like when niggas be like, man, that nigga on swole. It took a process right. for that nigga to get on swole. That wasn't no overnight right, shit. Yeah. You know, you might say a nigga educated. Uh, well, it took a process for that nigga to be educated. You know what I mean? He took the time to okay. educate himself. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah, I see what you're saying. Um, before somebody start participating in the game, they have characteristics that make them good for the game. Okay, um, you have certain individuals because they, the way the way that they were raised, the environment that they came from, the things that they went through in life. You know, prior to participating in the lifestyle, it made them good for the game. They was intelligent. He uh, already was abstaining and, you know, refraining from just, you know, messing with just any type of broad. He had standards about right. himself, um, right. you know, abstaining from, you know, drugs. You know, uh, he was a master of himself. You know, the man was a leader. Other people might have been getting high. Other individuals might have been promoting this. He didn't get involved in that. He uh, uh, had his own mind. You know, he's a master of, uh, of, of oneself, meaning that. Even if he did have an addiction or, or something like that, once he seen that, you know, this was hindering this from hindering him from uh, producing any type of greatness, you know, he instantly just cuts this thing off, man. You know, I might see a young man and he might say, you know, my father was on drugs or my grandfather, or, you know, my uncles and things like that. And, you know, uh, I had even dibble and dabble. But when I began to think to myself, I said, hey, you know, uh. I don't want to repeat their history. 
And I, I might look at that young man, he might tell me a testimony where, you know, he has some discipline about himself to shake that off. Or he might tell me some situations that, you know, he didn't have with some broads and he like, yeah, man, you know, uh, the broad sat up there and called the police, you know what I mean, on, on the nigga. I don't fuck with the nigga. Me and the nigga don't get along. But, you know, once the uh, bitch, you know, told me that she called the police on, you know, I had enough sense. I was like, man, I don't want to be bothered, you know, with the broad. So that don't automatically classify him and say, hey, man, he a big good. I'm just listening to him and watching him. Right. You know, right, he right. got some good characteristics. He got some good sense. He's an individual right. that you can deposit some information, you know, in and just see what he do with it. Because one thing about this, you might think somebody might be good for the game, but if this game is not in them, you can teach them, you can preach to them, and he'll never be able to manifest that which was taught because it's just not in him. If there's no deposit, it won't be no withdrawal to come out. It, it, uh, uh, for example, right, and I love him to death, uh, I got like a, uh, he kind of like a little bro to me. Not going to say his name because I don't want to embarrass him. He got long hair, you know what I mean? He, he light skin, you know, uh, fly little young cat. If you look at him, you would have swore him down, man. This, whoo, this boy, I know he going to be a cold killer. Boy ain't got one pimp bone in his body. Not one. You know, uh, he, he gets at wilder beasts. He get at animals. He get at bitches that's, you know what I mean, fat than the mother. I'm talking about beyond fat. He'll talk to just any and every bitch. So, again, good appearance, but what's on the inside affects him from doing anything on the outside because it's not in him. He been so around the pimping. Let me just say, let me just slide this in. He been around the pimping. He been laced by pimping. He didn't watch so many pimp videos, all of that. But he can't manifest no pimping. Why? Because it's not in him. He don't have the capabilities to fulfill the knowledge. So somebody can read a book that Barry Sanders wrote about being the greatest running back of all time. But just because right, they read that no book, right. that don't mean that they're going to be wrong. able to fulfill, you know, uh, like, ooh, I got the game now. You know what I mean? Barry Sanders yeah. gave a tutorial on how to be the greatest running back. If he don't got the capabilities, he won't be able to fulfill none of the knowledge that he's reading. So the only way we get to see, you know, if you really pimp, it's just like when Gangsta Brown said, you know, when K. Red got knocked, you know, by International Blue. When he got knocked by International Blue, even though K. Red was, you know, fucked up about it, but guess what? It proved that he had the stomach to basically lose a bitch that he had already been involved with before the game, a bitch that he had feelings for. And then to be able to right. deal with the fact that now this bitch about to be selling pussy and sucking and fucking on this man, giving money to this man, she about to be his bitch. Then you got to be able to deal with it. That is one of the characteristics. He, he got the stomach, you know, for it. Now, of course, we're going to look at some other situations that's going to be in the, uh, occurring to see how you mentally respond to that or if you're going to emotionally react to it. You know, it's just certain things that a pimp going to be able to do that the average man could never do in those particular circumstances. And this is how we see that this nigga is, you know, good for the game, right. being able to produce behavior, being able to produce thoughts and results, you know, that in right. just an average nigga wouldn't have been able to produce. So, so it's safe to say, you know, when the gang tests the nigga, that's really going to show what's in him. If he going to come with some pimping or he come with some other shit, that's really going to tell you what's in the nigga. Yeah, we got to find out. That. We got to find out if you you're capable test. of just like, OK, LeBron James can be your daddy. But that ain't promised that you're going to be like LeBron James in the NBA. That's right. We see. Well, look at Jordan kids. Mm -hmm. So just because your so you father a pimp or just because your uncle a pimp or just because you've been around pimps or you watch pimp videos on YouTube, that don't mean that you can learn the game and then go out there and go actually fulfill what you learned. If it's not in you, you will not be able to produce what you was introduced to. So you would say that you got to be born. I would say I, I wouldn't say you have to be born because nobody was born with the game. You know, the game got to come. 
I just say that you got to you can't perform something that you haven't been informed about. I will say that certain individuals had characteristics about themselves as a man that made them good, you know, for the game. And once they got introduced to the game, they started producing in the game because they was good for the game. It was, you know, they had some characteristics about them. But always know that you can't play basketball till you know the rules of the game. You can't play football till you know the rules of the game. So you can't be this pimping and you don't have the information concerning the lifestyle of pimping and horn, the do's and the don'ts. And you, you can't. You know, oh, yeah, right, right, yeah, because can't, yeah, can't nobody. Just so, so it's you know, the yeah. information that really makes you. It's the it's by the information, you know, that we know, you know, whether you can fulfill it or not. So a guy right. could be a good man and he has some cool characteristics, you know, but we gonna see if this is really in you once you get tested. Every piece of gold got to go exactly. through the fire. Every diamond got to be cut differently. So we gonna see. You know, uh, because we didn't see some niggas that really wasn't this pimping, you know, uh, get some runs in the game. And they had some bras that was paying them because they liked them. The nigga, the bitch might have thought the nigga was handsome or he might have had some good dick or he might have said something slick. And the bitch sat up there, you understand me, and hit a lick for his ass. You know, but once the bitch didn't have a desire to give him his needs and desires no more, you know, and the nigga was ho-po, okay, can you maintain your character then? Can you sit up there and profess right, this shit right. and manifest this shit then? Is you going to stay down to come up or is it going to be all she wrote? And, you know, when the bitch left and packed her things up, did she put your pimping inside her motherfucking, you understand me, suitcase and pack that shit up? We get to see by the hurdles, the mountains right, that you right. had to climb, the Eurocladons that you went through, you know, to see if you really this. You know, it's just like right, going okay. to the Marine Corps. You can't just say, hey, I'm a Marine. No, you got to go through boot camp. We got to see gotta what you check. made of. Got to see what's in. Exactly. Well, I see what you're saying. Yeah, because I, that, you know, the reason why I came to that, you know, that question, because on the outside looking in, you know, you think that uh, just having a bitch paying you automatically make you a pimp. You know, when you, you got limited knowledge, when you ain't, you know, participate in the game. So when you say, you know, a nigga, a, a nigga can get paid by a bitch and not be a pimp, I'm like, damn, so I don't what the fuck like a nigga a pimp then. Well, you know what I'm saying? Like, what characteristics is making a pimp? If that's, if that, that's off the door. I'm a, let me, let me, let me right also there. say this. Let me also say this. Like that. Um, <laughs> the definition of a man in one word is the truth. And one thing we know about the truth is it don't change even when the circumstances change. So it's going to be some circumstances that's going to happen in this journey and this thing called life, you know, but especially in the lifestyle of pimping and hoeing. There are some prerequisites of this game that you won't be able to fulfill if you're not a man. So uh, you have to be the truth in order to fulfill the truth of this game. Do you see what I'm saying? You got to be a man to be able to stand the test of times. Because every bride, you know, it's going to come a time when that hoe going to try you. It's going to come a time, you know, when that whole uh, stupid bitch season occurs. You know what I mean? And the bitch want to feel like acting stupid. Money gets slow. Slow days. No days. That type of shit. You know what I'm saying? So just to keep that thing all the way 100, if he's not a man, no matter how good he talk, no matter how good he look, no matter uh, how good of a few little characteristics that he got in a few areas, if he's not a man in totality, he's not going to be able to stand the adversities and difficulties within this game. He's not going to be able to do it. So, so we get to see if you a pimp actually... You know what I mean? Through time. What have you went through? through I'm not impressed with okay. an individual telling me that they got this, they got that, they got this, they got that, they got this. Within that testimony, I'm looking for, you know, what hurdles, what mountains, what situations, you know, did you go through? You know, uh, what adversity? What, have you been knocked yet? You know, right. uh, how you respond to that when you want, if you was not, how you respond. Yeah, to how it? did you respond to when you got knocked? 
You know, right. uh, what happened when, you know, a game banger wanted to kill you because you knocked his bitch? You know, what did you do in these situations in these streets? How did you respond to that? You know, any nigga can sit up there and sell some dope and come to the game, you know, with some toys that he got from the dope game or the rap game and then present himself to be some goddamn pimping. But we're going to see if you really this pimping through years of doing some pimping. Right, right. Okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah, you, you know, that's how we get to see it. It's not no just, you know, uh, overnight shit. You know, nothing great. Even God, when he created, he didn't sit up there and make everything, you know, within a day. It was over time. He right. took, he took that, time. I think that's every part of life. You know, whatever you're doing, you got to be tested to see if you you got to be for it. you listen listen whatever even you know. even even in spirituality love costs uh yeah. you see you see that he had to basically give up his life so others can have life he had to make a sacrifice so in other That's words right, right. what sacrifices have you made the price of success you know what i mean is sacrifice so when an individual tell you that they got this they got that and you don't hear no sacrifices Nines out of ten, they got that what appears to be success from something else. They didn't get it from Pippin. Right, right. So a bitch should beware of a nigga telling her, oh, I got helicopters. I got two phantoms. I got three houses. I got this. I got the jewelry. But you're not hearing or seeing anything where, you know, it required a sacrifice for him to obtain or maintain that. In other words, right. he didn't pimp for it. He didn't pimp for it, right? And a real pimp don't want to just pimp for it. You know, that's what's in his heart. He really don't want to just do it that way. You know what I'm saying? Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. You know, we learned that you that's are. That's all you don't want to do. We learn who you are. We're going to see if you really possess what you profess to be, if you possess what you profess to have through time. What did you go through? It's just it's like proud. when K Red, you seen when K Red got out of uh, out the joint and he was back on the bike and he was like, Yeah, you know, I done lost a little hoe, you know what I mean? And and nigga done lost a little dough and everything, you know what I'm saying? But you know, just to let you know, man, you niggas know, you know, that ain't nothing to, uh that ain't nothing to come across, you know, that ain't nothing, you know what I mean? You know, just when they thought it was over, ha, you know what I mean? Back in Again, right. See, that's letting you know right. that even prison could not change this man. Right. Even going right. through the feds. The feds didn't make him pack up his things and say, you know what? I don't want to be Kenny Red no more. Let me go ahead and become somebody's boyfriend or husband and become a boo thing and things like that. We going to see if that's really you after you go through this and that and that and this, right. are you still going to be that? So anybody can come up with a nice little, right. you know, clever, beautiful, little, you know, definite, but it's through time. It's through going okay. through, okay. you know, events. It's through going through right. adversity. It's through going through criticism. It's through going through, you know what I mean, pain. What pain have you led through? What pimp, what pain did you pimp through? Did you ever have you ever been lied on? You know, uh, what right. shit have you went through? You know, to come out as pure gold. Uh, what am I saying? To come out as pimp. <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah. You know yeah. That's how you tell. That just like when Dre be telling that testimony of him getting knocked, you know, two times within one night, which is cold as I've ever heard. He got knocked. You know, two times within one night, you know, knocked him for uh, 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 the little uh, chop rod. And before he could get off the phone, nigga say, hey, 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 hey. Yeah, I got that white rod too. You know what I mean? That type of shit. And for him to right. pimp past that, not to try to kill the man, not to try. Man, hey, man, where you at? Cuz you got me fucked up. We get to see, are you able to mentally respond through pressure? Have you been tested? Have you ever put that hoe down on the blade? Has she ever been tested? 
Nigga can't really tell you, man, that he been really doing some pimping and he been motherfucking doing all this Harriet Tubman underground, creating underground railroads for hoes. Some of these niggas didn't create underground railroads for hoes. They be hiding hoes and shit, you know, putting them in hotel rooms and putting the bitch over here. So Pippin don't get no action at endeavoring to have the bitch and shit like that. He afraid for the bitch to get sweated on. He afraid for the bitch to get knocked. And you have individuals like that. You know, they got rings and chains and things like that. And they'll tell you shit like, I never been knocked. Yeah, nigga, you ain't never been knocked. You ain't never had that whole feet down on the concrete, you know what I mean, in the whole place right. either. You know? So, right, yeah, man, right. you know, these niggas been uh, being omnipresent to pee, you know, uh, and, and sitting over there playing security. You know, every time the bitch did get sweated by a pimp, he was driving up talking about, hey, P, hey, she's spoken for. Her. Let the bitch work. See, like I said, we get to see if this really you when that bitch is getting campaigned at. We get to see if this really you when that bitch get knocked or when that bitch blow up when you was ho-po. You know, we get to see, you know what I mean, if this is really you, you know, if maybe somebody died within the family, you fell into a state of depression, you got on drugs, or maybe you was uh, uh, getting high for a little bit, but... You begin to reminisce and retrospect about the man that you once were, the pimp that you are. The, the, you know, you begin to get into like, man, I can't be on this shit. And you shook that shit and left that shit alone and stayed away from it. And I had to bring that up because I know some pimps, you know what I mean, that fell to the wayside by drugs, you know, here and there. You know, but because of the power that was within them, they was able to shake that shit and get back. To pimping, you know, without that bullshit in their body, you know. So I didn't see some cold that. shit, huh? I said they overcame that trial. Man, listen, you know, again, you know, and, and let me also say this: these bitches is is problems. These bitches bring problems. If a nigga say he don't want, you know, a woman, if he if he say he don't want no problems, then that mean he don't want no woman. All women come with problems. As a man, you got to be able to produce solutions that's bigger than the problems that the bitch bringing in. So, again, that's how we tell, you know, if you pimp, if you pimping, how many solutions did you bring to problems? How many women did you make? You know, motherfucker could say he pimp, but one thing we know pimps to do is do some pimping. And a motherfucker can't say that he was doing pimping and he never sit up there and elevated. He never sit up there and made, you know, a woman graduate to another dimension in the game or life. You know what I mean? Uh, none of these women are benefiting from the information that proceeded, you know what I mean, out of his mouth. You know, uh, you know, Pippin is when a woman might be feeling suicidal or, you know, discouraged. And the man says something so inspiring, something so powerful that, you know, he took a woman that, you know, was battling with the spirit of depression and he spoke, you know, to that one. He spoke life to her. You know, he spoke reconciliation to her. Right, exactly. Right. You know, that's pimping. You know, right. that woman, that woman feeling like, you know, she don't want to live no more because of what her uncle or father or brother or mother or sister or boyfriend or just some random guy did to her. And for a pimp to just continuously minister to the mind of this woman, you know, encouraging her, building her up, you know, things that she wasn't taught at home. And he taking the time to teach her a lot of things that a lot of lessons that she should have gotten in her adolescence. You know what I mean? Uh, that's pimping. When she came to you with a third grade vocabulary and now she's speaking like she didn't went to an Ivy League school. That's pimping. When a woman didn't have okay. uh, the proper etiquette, you know what I mean? When she was with them clients and things like that, you know, she was with this dude for five and six years and she didn't even know how to conduct herself, you know what I mean? With guys with doctorates and master's degrees and, you know, guys with careers and all of this. She didn't even know what to say, how to conduct herself. But now that she with you, man, she's, she, she know how to communicate with men of all walks of life. That's pimping. That's pimping. You know, so like I said, it's innumerable definitions of this shit. You know, eternity, not enough time for me to sit up there and just keep going, you know, uh, with this shit. But notice every example that I gave, it take time to do that. Oh, yeah, I see. 
it take time. So all of these niggas that's just making a few songs and shit, hey man, that's that's cute. You know what I mean? That you made a, a nice song. That's like a person singing a gospel song about God, you know, but they are homosexual. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, you're like, that was a beautiful song you wrote about God, but you but you still involve, you know, with a man. You know, meaning that your life is contrary, but it's a beautiful song though. So we have to separate you know, uh, the art of the artist from the personal life of these artists. We got a lot of rappers that made some nice rap songs about the game, but these niggas' lives are not on one accord with the game. Yeah, and I can see how an individual who do, really do this shit, you know, could be offended by it. You know, that's anything in life when they see some fake. So I understand your, your uh, passion with the shit. Man, um, you if you didn't face shit, life, you know, motherfucker that's really living it, and then another motherfucker faking your life. Exactly. If you didn't face life sentences, if you didn't been holeless and dolors before, if you didn't been lied on before, it's like you didn't went through so much shit being in this lifestyle. You didn't you didn't been through so many ups and downs and turnarounds, and for you to remain in it, yeah, it showed that you love you 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 got a love for this. If you came right. out of prison. After going through what you went through and you came right back to this shit, you got a love for this. Yeah, you really got a love for this shit. This is really who you are. This is what you do. That's how we find right. out who you are and what you do, what you went through. That's and right. it take time that's to right. see that. So that's anything. That can apply to anything. And, and then, hold on, let me throw this out there. That's why a lot of pimps used to say, you know, once a guy would say that he been in the game less than 10 years, a lot of pimps really wouldn't want to, you know, uh, look at him, you know, as a, a, a real P because you ain't been through nothing. After seeing so many niggas get a three, four year run or five years and they gone and now they work in their subway or they somebody boyfriend at a Walmart. Because, you know, the same people I came in the game with in 07, some of them guys are married. Some of them guys are boyfriend. Some of them guys got good jobs. Some of them guys are dead. You know, um, right. so again, that's something that we have to see through time. Right. It ain't just a, yeah, uh, I'm a pimp today. Yeah, that's cool. And you might very might be. But we need to also see you go through some things, you know, over a period of time. You know, for us to just sit up there and just, ah, just give it. It became too easy for everybody to just claim pimping. Now everybody can just Blood, call each other tears. P. Huh? Blood, sweat, and tears. Blood, sweat, and tears. Right. So, Blood, sweat, and tears. yeah, I appreciate you. I appreciate you calling in, man. Matter of fact, this is going to be the last phone call. Okay. Well, yeah, yeah. man. You know, I love your content, man. Keep doing what you're doing. Stay safe out there, man. Man, I appreciate you calling in, man, and blessing me with those questions so I could have gave them answers, man. I appreciate you, man. Blessings to you. You was really used by the game. Okay, same to you, man. All right, likewise. Yeah. All right, man. You know, I hope that it was something that was said, you know, within here, man. You know what I mean? That you got a better understanding of this shit, man, because it is a difference between, you know, uh, a pimp you know, and a, and a rapper that just rap about pimping. And most of the guys that a lot of y'all idolized or they said some things that had you mesmerized, you know, these guys were not pimps. They were just knowledgeable about pimping and said some things about the lifestyle of pimping and hoeing over instrumentals. And it was so powerful that it got in your feelings. It got into your mental and you you re, you ready to box somebody? Or some of y'all ready to kill somebody because the nigga didn't said that that individual wasn't authentic, <laughs> you know. But yeah, man, you know, I mean, let me go ahead and uh, do some things. If I got time later tonight, you know, what I mean, I'm gonna come back and talk some more shit. Yeah, if I if I get the time, I'm gonna uh, come back and talk some more shit. If I can't, then just know that uh, my heart was in the right place. I definitely wanted to come back and say some more shit, you know. But uh, I love you guys. I hope you live as long as you want. Never want for nothing. As long as you live, y'all stay blessed. Make sure y'all get in that comment section. You know what I mean? And uh, you know, 
whether you agreed or disagreed, you know, with me, you know, make it known in the comment section. Love you guys, man. We gone.